Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, Radiation Rumble. All right, well, off to a uh, off to a start. We got Radiation Rumble on my server. Uh, yeah, and I don't have any gear, so I'm gonna go buy gear, buy some gear really quick. <laughs> uh, let's do this really quick. Uh, okay, we got Raccoon, uh, Pope Lobster, Wrath of John, Tyler, Angel, Ram, RHPS. Hello, hello. Uh, we are going to buy. Let's see. Let's buy a weapon really quick. Don't want to go to an event and not have a weapon, at least. Vampire's Gatling Plasma with last round. Um, oh, that's pretty awful. <laughs> I mean, vampires, that's good. Uh, I actually have plasma cores. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just go to the... We'll come here after. We'll go to... Well, let's see. Is this a server where people are doing stuff? That is a question. Uh, let's see. I do have plasma cores. Let's see here. Yeah, I have plasma... Wait. Yeah, plasma cores. All right, yeah, we can, we can, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. We can make this work. All right, Gallic plasma, no armor. We'll go to Rad Rumble and uh, oh wait, no, okay. Only one person's there. Let's buy some armor. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, armor. There we go. Mutant's metal leg with weapon weight. Oh, weapon weight reduction. That's actually helpful. Do another one of those. Hopefully, oh, okay, we got a chest. All right, we'll make do with this for now. There we go. We have some armor. We got weapon weight reduction. We're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Off kilter. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> so we pulled one weapon and two armor pieces. So we still have more to go, but this will get us. Of course, if nobody's if nobody shows up, then uh, yeah, then that plan will be out the window. And that could be. I mean, I've seen that a bit when I've played that. Uh, yeah, ever since Fosh dot, people just aren't uh, aren't doing stuff. Will this give me a Thing. Nope, that won't give me a thing. Yeah, nobody. Sh if nobody shows up, though, I, I wouldn't have needed to hurry. So, we'll see. I think the civil engineer armor will become the new best armor. Well, it's trade. I mean, as tradable, it'll definitely be the best tradable armor. That's for sure. Uh, beyond that, then it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. I mean, I do see the use. Uh, I'm hoping they still adjust the. Uh, yeah, it could be. I'm on a crappy. S There's quite a few people here, though. I mean. There's, I'm not on an empty server. I don't know. People don't like Radiation Rumble anymore. I don't I don't know what's going on. So maybe this isn't going to happen. We got one person at the entrance that's just going to just chill up there. So yeah. May just have to get on with questing, which is fine with that. One person's junk is another's gold bullion. But in terms of, well, Aki, while we're waiting, let's do this. So in between streams... I did uh, I did take a couple of legendary perks. I have what rads and I have I, I added strength in and I actually created a couple of loadouts. I have a rifle loadout and a and a uh, melee loadout, of course, not a heavy gun loadout. I don't, I don't have enough perks for that. Uh, but I'm on the rifle loadout at the moment. Um, but that's why I took the strength. So basically strength is a 15 and I figure the legendary strength will just make it you know 18, which is good. Uh, extra melee damage and I moved the points into perception uh, for this loadout so that's where we're at with that um, yeah the load is actually kind of set I've got all the perks at least for a gunslinger or a rifleman I've got all the perks that I would want for that uh, what else did I do I think that's about all that I did I put a cryo freezer in my camp so I do have some melee foods every time I've been on I'll go and I'll buy melee foods so if I happen to have to pull a, a melee weapon hey Corey welcome so just want this season to be over. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. I mean, it's just kind of the the never-ending season. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to go. This is just not a good... Uh, I, landed on, I, I server hopped a lot to try and find a clean server. And it uh, looks like I found a server where nobody's interested in doing... Like, this event. Never thought I'd see the day where Radiation Rumble was an event people didn't want to do. So, uh, yeah. I may just, bail, <laughs> may just bail on this one, I think. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just go finish my armor. Maybe pull another weapon. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a rifle. Because I don't think, uh, I mean, I can't do much with this, so, yeah, I'm just going to bail on this. Yeah. If it goes, it goes, but I'm going to go back to the purveyor, finish my loadout. Kind of disappointing, disappointing start, but uh, I'm going to pull another ranged weapon. Maybe I'll get a rifle. I don't necessarily want to run around with this, but that, if I do, I do. That's okay. It's like I hurried up just to get to a place that nobody was interested in going to. All right. Let's do another ranged weapon and two, three more pieces of armor. All right, ranged weapon. Uh, I think that's a ranged weapon. Let uh, that stupid message go away at the bottom. That's covering up. There we go. Ranged weapon. I'm assuming that's uh, 
Yeah, my head's not covering that up. All right. Do you know if they nerfed the cap stashes at White Spring? I have not heard such a thing. I don't know. So I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Range weapon. Junkies. Oh, that's trash. Okay, I will not be using that at all today. That That's just, that's not going to get used. <laughs> so we are going to be going with this Gatling. Uh, yeah, this Gatling Plasma, which hopefully the ammo will hold out. Okay, legendary armor. We need three more pieces. So there's a piece. Uh, troubleshooters, ammo weight. Eh, that's not going to be helpful at all. Troubleshooters, I guess, will be helpful. Uh, vanguards. Uh, vanguards, baby. And what do we have? Mutants. Okay, that's AP regen, which doesn't look like we'll be using doing a lot of that either. So armor. Uh, let's see. We've got a right leg, left leg, chest piece. That is a right leg. Uh, okay, so this is mutants with weapon weight reduction. And wait. This is troubleshooters with ammo weight and less explosion damage. Uh, not really sure which way to go. Oh, the left leg. Okay, we got a Vanguard, Vanguard's heavy. Disease or urban. Oh, let's. Oh, we don't really care about AP regen. Let's go with this one, I think. Wow, 140. Wow, how's our resistance so high? That's insane. Why is. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. <laughs> These seasons drag. Used to be go to place for farm. Oh. I don't know, I've never been a cap stash farmer, so that's not a thing that I am. Uh, I'm that much of an expert in. Let's see here. Troubleshooters. God, that's tempting. I mean, the only reason I'm going for this one is the weapon weight, but I don't really care about weapon weight. So let's go with troubleshooters instead. All right. And this weapon, I'm just going to put away. I'm not going to use it. So yeah, this is uh, this is our loadout for today. We are going to be, going to be using this uh, silly, silly Gatling Plasma. You accidentally set your camp on Saturday, still working on fixing it. Oh, okay. Let's see, is this uh, is this actually going? Oh, there's three people there. All right, we'll go back and do this. I don't know if plasma cores will drop from enemies, but we'll find out. Have we started? Uh, oh yeah, we started this, okay. Oh, I can't hit anything with this. Oh, this is not going to be... <laughs> okay. The hard part on this is is going to be uh, don't reload. I'll go and collect. I mean, I have lots of plasma cores. I mean, that's... Uh, that's a lot of ammo. But I don't have... I don't have stabilized, and I don't have... I don't have power armor anyway, so... Although I wonder if stabilized would work with a power armor frame. Hmm, that'd be kind of interesting. I do have a power armor frame. I just don't have any power armor to put on it. So, uh-oh, someone's in trouble. All right. Back up here. Yeah, this is... Okay. This is... Uh, I'm going to get tags in. Beyond that... Uh, okay, yeah, this is probably going to fail. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go through so much ammo. I'm just trying. Okay, I'm just trying to get my armor back on, but uh... okay, third person in here is not a is not a thing. Shielda, there we go. Whoops, I got my I gotta put my hat on. All right, let's deposit some of this just to see. Yeah, stuff's dying. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I am really not effective with this at all. Maybe what I'll do is... Uh, as my only weapon. This is brutal. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is... Uh, Vampire's the dragon. That's, that's something that's in there. Uh, let's see. Hope the good things come to the shop tomorrow. Yeah! Hopefully. That's always the hope, right? Um, uh, well, stuff is... The spin-up. God, I hate the spin-up on this thing. I probably should have gone for a melee weapon as my other weapon instead of going for the, uh, the revolver or, you know, another range weapon. Just so I had something I know I could, uh, use effectively, because this is, uh... Yeah, when these things run, when the plasma cores run out... But with a vampire weapon, at least I should... Uh, this is a good weapon to be vampire. 
good. Okay, well, I can't see. Since I'm not going to be using VATs, I could try using VATs. Let's see what happens here. My AP is just going to run out, yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Oh, there we go. Reload, reload, wait for the spin up, spin down, reload that. Oh, that is a log reload. Well, at least the mineral extractor, someone's keeping them alive, so that's something at least. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, got downvoted on 76 subreddit because apparently the demon mass is super rare and worth a million caps. I had no idea you could even get that many caps. Uh, I don't know. I don't trade, so I, I have no comment on that. Just drop three plasma cores. You had them in inventory. Oh, okay. Um, I'll pick them up. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll try. There we go. Since this is the only gun I'm running, I mean, I do have that single axe revolver if I have to to pull that out of my stash, but that's, yeah, it's... Single action is so bad. Yeah, I should have I should have done a because uh, I have a loadout for melee, so I should have actually pulled a melee weapon after getting this. Just as just in case. As a just in case weapon. Or I should have pulled power armor. So then I could take stabilize. I should have enough perk points to do that. And that would that would help with damage a lot, actually. Armor penetration, but. You need to be wearing power armor for that. I don't know if it'll work in just a power armor frame. Good for tagging, it's... that's about it. Although these ghouls are pretty, I mean... The glowing ghouls are pretty tanky, so... Um, alright. Survivability shouldn't be an issue, though. With this vampire weapon. Doing dam- okay, doing damage will be. What about bashing? Has a pretty low damage, though, so bashing isn't, uh... 20 damage. Okay, so bashing isn't going to be an option. Hey, Will. Welcome. Hey, the people make the mass such a pain to trade because they are a little rare. Yeah, I mean, I blame the system. Don't blame the players. Make Blame the system that makes them so rare. And the fact that they come from an event that's really, really boring. Colossal problem. Yeah, oh. Super hard. Oh, it's it's actually usually not. Usually it's full of people and you can't get hits on stuff. So it's really it's really unusual to have a short-handed one like this. It's great for experience, though. It's one of the one of the best events for XP. I mean, especially if you're on a team with uh, lunch boxes during double XP, this event will level you pretty much no matter how high your level is. You'll you'll get levels on this uh, if you're trying to hit stuff. So yeah, it's a good. It's good for scrap too. And if you play low health, it's good for toxic or for glowing blood, which is what I like to use for my low health court character rather than... I know people like toxic goo. I like the glowing blood just because I don't have to gather it. I just do this and that and get a bunch. Oh, my... Uh, okay. My damage is terrible. I hate spin-up weapons. <laughs> I hate... Sp I may go to the revolver just because... Uh, yeah, I may I'm rethinking the revolver at this point. Uh, I don't necessarily want to use this all the time. This spin-up is just annoying. Single action revolver is pretty terrible, but I'm at least spec for for that. So yeah, maybe that junkie's single action will get a will get a, a place in my loadout today. Oops, I did I tapped the loadout. Oh. That's one of the blessings of having the spin-up. Is that if you do reload prematurely, most of the time it won't work because it's spinning. So that's a good thing. But yeah, Radish Rumble's a good one. It does sound hard. It's not. Um, this is chaotic. It's usually not It's usually not like that. Usually there's so many people in, everything just dies instantly and stuff. But it's a good event. Hey, drinks. Welcome, welcome. No, no. No mulligans. That's... I gotta, I gotta make do with what I get. That's the fun. If I could just do... Have do-overs. I will say this. So I actually did a... Uh, I did a purveyor video because this character had a ton of script. So I actually, I actually did a purveyor video that'll be out on Thursday. And the first pull, the very first pull on that video, I'm like, God, I wish I could have gotten something like that in, uh, if I would have gotten that, I'd be happy. Let's put it that way for today. That It would be a lot more fun than this, uh, than this thing. Come on. 
Is this over yet? This is painful. <laughs> this is painful. Oh, this weapon. Hey, Dale, welcome, welcome. Toxic wire for Rad, you need a flamer. Yeah, I didn't get a flamer. If I got a flamer, I'd be using I'd be using that for sure. Okay, let's uh, pick up a bunch of stuff. Oh, I actually got plasma cores. I picked up two plasma cores, so that's a thing. So that's good. Or maybe I got them from the event. I don't know. But yeah, 21 plasma cores, so ammo should be an okay thing. But yeah, we're going to go and uh, we're going to get that revolver out of the stash. And try and make that a uh, thing. There we go. Vampire's the dragon. Oh, one hit. Or one star, rather. All right. Well, we're not over encumbered. That's a good thing. The spray and pray. It's not that, Psycho Boy. It's the uh, the spin up. I hate the spin up. I actually don't mind the Gatling Plasma. If if it didn't have a spin up, I would. It would probably be a weapon. One of my favorite weapons. But as it is with the spin up, it's one of the weapons that I kind of hate. So, oh, I can't turn anything else in. I've already maxed out my script for the day. And I still have stuff in the stash. All right, let's scrap every, or yeah, scrap everything. And uh, railway rifle, all right. Learning some mods on weapons that I don't have, so that's good. <laughs> Always good to learn mods on weapons that you don't have. Okay, so armor pieces, we'll put all those away. And weapons, let's see, that and that. Okay, where is that junkie's uh, single action? That was the one. Damage while aiming, oh, that's so bad. But <laughs> at least I've spec'd for it, so... That's a thing. So, 44 ammo. That's, yeah, we could do that. I don't know if I know any mod. I mean, there's only two mods for it. Uh, let's see. One is the Prime, and that's... I think that's about it. There's only a couple... Oh, and the Handle. Hey, Viticus. Welcome. Been trying to like the UC Gatling you made. Does okay damage, even if it spins slow... F yeah. What are the effects on the Gatling Plasma besides Vampire? Uh, it's last round and reduced weight. <laughs> so, I mean, at least it's reduced weight... But yeah, the last, oh, look at the condition. The condition bar is already halfway down. Oh, see, that's another thing. I'm not going to be able to do, uh, let's see, what mod do I know? I probably know the, uh, ooh, Ivory Grip. I think Ivory Grip actually reduces AP cost. Yep, by two. Is there a paint for this? Oh, let's see, Gunther's paint. Sure, why not? Uh, that way we won't script it by mistake. Okay, so we have the uh, horrible Gatling Plasma here and uh, single action here. This is, uh, this is what I would call a nightmare loadout, but that's okay. We'll make do. <laughs> we'll make do with what we got. But uh, yeah, okay. We'll get rid of some stuff here. Glowing blood. Yeah. See, that's I like glowing blood for uh, uh, for the rads. I know people like toxic goo, and I'm not against toxic goo, but glowing blood just kind of uh, accumulates. All right, time to go meet the overseer. So no suppressed weapons. We want to go right. Oh, I don't have that on the map. Okay. We'll go right to the power plant then. Perfect. Fixing all the time. Yes. Yes. I mean, one event and it's half the condition bar. I'm assuming it was full condition at the start. I'm assuming. I didn't look. Damage while aiming would be better. I, I, almost anything would be better. I mean, it wouldn't be worse, right? Last round is not useful. So anything would be, it would either be lateral or better. Not saying it's the system's fault. It's that people put mass on a pedestal when there are items more rare than it. Eh. It is the system's fault. I mean, it's dumb to have this, uh, to have that, to have it that rare. And then they make people lose their minds and trading goes, eh, it's just, it's just one of those things. It's one of those things. It's like, I don't know. For me, if I get the mask, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to go trading for it. It just isn't, uh, especially now, you know, because it's basically extortion. The uh, the amount of money, it's like a ransom, basically. The amount of money that people want for it, or whatever. Okay, so usually there's ghouls. And, okay, so... Some of that's going to be range. Okay, so critical hit, I could kill something. But sneaky, sneak attacks aren't going to work. Uh, okay, I'm still in caution. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a prediction for how this is going to go. Clubber Lang. Ask, ask him what the prediction is. Uh, let's see. Scissors right away. Don't really need any of that. Let's go in here. Wrath of John. Hello. Artificial scarcity. Yeah. Sunkist. Hello, hello. More likely to get a rare mask than a camo jumpsuit. And I've gotten two camo jumpsuits. 
Think about value versus cost. Is that cost could be constant while value is subjective? There we go. Cabbage Patch Doll of Fallout 76. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is it. Cabbage Patch. I remember the Cabbage Patch craze. Wasn't something that I participated. I don't remember if my sister had one of those or not. Okay, so that was pretty good. There we go. All right. But now I'm in danger. Yeah, the, and the and the the uh, the fire rate. Okay, I have to go into first person here. This is nuts. The fire rate is pretty bad too. All right, we survived. As long as I don't have to do anything like crazy, uh, uh, like crazy dangerous. Let's see. What do we have here? There's usually another one in here, no? Or did it come out? Probably came out. Yeah, no sneaky for me. So. Oh, Overseer. I love the Overseer. She's my favorite. She's so awesome. Rolled an instigating. 15 AP refresh. 25 less AP cost. Enclave Plasma Rifle today. Uh, is it a... Is it a... Um, like a sniper, or are you using? I mean, how are you using it? Like as a sniper, that's actually really good. Uh, I wish she would just stop talking. <laughs> I just, she's completely useless. Real Gunther's big iron is better. Yes, I agree with that. It's actually tempting to go get a bunch of. You know what? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should get a bunch of addictions. I don't know what my. Because uh, it is a junkies. I mean, that would ramp up the. Uh, that would ramp up the damage a bit. Maybe it'd be worth getting some addictions. I don't know if it would be, but maybe it'd be worth it. I don't know. Because you need like five addictions. And of course you don't want to get the, okay. Just, just miss every shot. That's, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm being punished. I must've been like a, a murderer in another life or something. There we go. No, no, I was kidding. Okay. Point blank, 95% shot, still missed one of the shots. All right, there's, I got a critical for you. All right, so for those late covers, I'll show everyone that what I'm uh, what I'm working with here in terms of uh, everything. Moved, uh, I still see you on the team. So I don't, I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> I, or did you leave and come back? I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. Hey, Hermos, welcome, welcome. Hey, Brian, would Gatling Plasma do more damage than Deathclaw Welling with Deathclaw Wellington? No, that's only gonna help uh, a melee weapon. That doesn't help. That doesn't help uh, heavy guns. Bullet the miss actually just went perfectly through where a previous bullet went. Oh, okay. I'm actually a really good shot. All right. So here's the loadout I'm working with. Uh, let's just do this. Get rid of that. Okay, so this is my Rifleman pistol loadout. I actually have a, a melee loadout as well for those that, that missed this. Oh, internet. My internet went down earlier today as well. Uh, so we've got uh, one rank of bandolier, blocker, traveling pharmacy. Then we have all the Rifleman perks maxed out, tank killer, and concentrated fire. Obviously, I don't have a rifle, so today that doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, fireproof, tenderizer, gunsmith, uh, action boy, because I never know about AP regen. Uh, I should be using company. Oh, I do have company T. So e either way, so covert operative for those sneak attacks I'm not doing. Gunslinger, one rank of all the gunslinger perks uh, somewhere. I think one rank. Uh, no, not one rank. I don't have uh, I don't have master gunslinger. So I only have two. Ra oh, because uh, yeah, I may add another point of agility. I should. That's what I meant to do, and I never did. Okay, so only two ranks of that. All right. So, but we got sneak. So we got bloody mess, better criticals, critical savvy, class freak. There we go. Okay, uh, check the reactors. Oh, my food. What's my food situation here? I'm not using any kind of food for, uh, for, I have food for melee, but not for, so we're gonna do this. Perfect bubble gum. Yeah. I don't really have any food other than, um, company tea that's gonna help this situation out. Okay. And we're looting, we're looting. We're gonna be swimming in 44 in no rounds. Ikuza, hello, hello. So wish we could go over the 15 cap, 15, uh, back to school. All right, lobster. What do you mean 15 cap? 15, uh, what cap? Probably play Fallout 3 or New Vegas in the meantime. Oh, there you go. With company T, why don't you dump the action boy for gunslinger perks? I, I, I could do that. Part of the problem is I don't have a lot of, uh, 
I... God, jeez. <laughs> I... I don't have a lot of, uh, perks. I mean, I used up most of my perk points doing the loadout, so I don't really have, like, spare perks to do anything with at the moment. Maybe later. That's a thought, though. Oh, special cap? I wish so, too. I mean, I wish we could you mean, a allocate more, uh, more perks. I mean, yes, definitely. I wish we could do that, too. And I thought that was the thing, right? When Legendary Perks came out, I'm sure a lot of people thought that. It's like, oh, Legendary Perks, we can get, uh, 20 agility and do uh, more perks, and it's not that way. Can't even kill a ghoul with a headshot. Oh, this thing is so terrible in bats. It's just so bad. It misses. It's one of the... Uh, okay. Okay, well, give me a vats lock. There we go. Overseer was just getting in the way. In real life, it loads that slow. Well, I'm glad they went for realism in this case, because that's that's fun. Uh, wait, I saw a friend request. Is that someone in the in the uh, ancient rocker? Is that someone in the chat? Even though single action is usually terrible, I like the reload. I like the reload. I just think it should do more damage. I mean, that's my biggest issue with it, is the damage doesn't compensate you with... I mean, a Western Revolver does more damage. A 44 does more damage. So for something that's so underpowered... Why is it uh, why is it so painful to use? I mean, that's the thing. Like the black powder weapons, the the black powder rifle, the dragon, they have slow reloads, but they do huge damage. This gives you slow reloads, and there's just no payout for it. So, medical malpractice has that hit chance. It makes a huge difference. Which one is medical malpractice? Is medical malpractice a single action? I mean, but Vat's hit chance, yeah. Vat's hit chance does make a huge difference. It does on the pipe bolt, too. It, it, on, on weapons that are kind of funky in Vat's, it does um, It does make a difference. Oh it's a, oh, it's a 44. Okay. My blood's in it, as advertised. Okay, she's just annoying. She's just here. She's not helpful at all. I wonder what it would be like if you actually were helpful. That's what I wonder. This is it. She's going to follow me around while I do absolutely everything. It's like the worst kind of supervisor. Recently did solar health build. Realized the high health damage is awful, but you're tanking. It's not awful. Um, I, I could solo anything in the... I could solo any, any... I could kill anything in the game with that character. So I don't... I don't know what you mean. It's not... It's... 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 Uh, Full health is just fine. Full health is just fine. Maybe not as much as a low health build, but it's just fine. I can solo anything in the game. Uh, let's see here. Give to Paige and ask for caps. He gives you like five caps or something. Going for Blaze, jarring. Ah, armor trade of is worth it. I don't know. Hey, Joe, welcome. I mean, I have a low health character, and yes, it's definitely more damage, but I don't. I don't know. I think for most things, it's not really. Uh, What's this? I mean, Fine. instead of stuff dying in two to three bullets, it dies in one to two bullets, and in a lot of cases, it's no different at all. So. I don't find it to be that. Uh, the big difference is you could do kind of damage without cards. That's kind of the thing. You could actually spec into a lot of things and not have to use damn. Oh, we have this. All right, let's do this. Let's go to feed the people. Since we're doing that, get me some canned meat stew. Might as well get some levels so I can get some more perks. Maybe get a heavy, uh, heavy gun load out. Yeah, I should do that. Company T. Company T with, I'm, I am carnivore though. So I'm only getting the 10% AP regen. Um, so I don't know. But I do have a piece of... Do I have one of my arm? I think one of my armor pieces has AP regen as well. Let's see here. Armor. Um, Which one? No, is this leg, right? No, is it this? Oh, no, I'm not using the AP regen piece. All right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> not using the AP regen piece. Using Blight Soup. Oh, yeah, Blight Soup. That's for sure. I mean, critical hits. That's the thing. If you're doing crit If you're not doing critical hits... Yes, the damage is huge, but if you're doing critical hits, it's actually not that, it's not huge. I don't think it's like this massive difference. Obviously, it also depends on if you're min-maxing as well. Reset the fuse box. 
He's all over it already, maybe. He's try he's probably trying he's probably playing in third person trying to get the hitbox to work. <laughs> that's that's usually the way it goes. Yeah, so min min level ghouls. Yeah, the fire rate's kind of funky too. Has this little little hitch. Maybe realistic, but it's not fun. Yeah, unfortunately, so I went carnivore on this character just because of the, um... In case I had to go melee. And those food buffs are easy. Are kind of, it's easy to buy that food. So, I didn't really want to farm food. Someone always has to blow stuff up. Okay, so we're going to get, uh... We picked this location up. Oh, we did. Alright, good. We picked it up. Can meat stew. Let's eat some can meat stew right now. Since we are carnivore, I thought we were carnivore. Are we carnivore? I am carnivore. Shouldn't it be ten percent? It said five percent. Uh, let's see. Can meat stew. Ten percent. Okay, there we go. Mufa, hello, hello. Loadberry was glitched, locking people out. Yeah. That's the one you don't really have to. Yeah, I've run into that a number of times. Just in time. Oh, just in time for the stew. Nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got to go to here. Give Meg the stuff. That's probably a good idea, though. Get some more rifleman per or some more um, gunslinger perks in there. I mean, I have a few. I mean, I probably have three or four perk points, so it's probably a good idea just because I need more damage. Here you go. This is the inoculation. Hey Andy, welcome, welcome. Bottles of Nuka? Today's daily ops pushes the solar build to the limit. What is I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> I'll make sure. Let's see. What is the uh, I'm just kind of curious. I'm not doing one, I'm just looking. Poison de oh armor. Yeah, yeah. Robots, poison, armor piercing. Yeah, yeah. That's what sneaking is for. Although vampire weapon, I mean, I use a vampire weapon on my character, and it is that character is hard to kill, very hard to kill. Defend a man in Bogtown. Okay, I need to do. Let's do because I have uh, stuff to stash, and then I want to look at my perks and see. Uh, hey, Sasha, welcome, welcome. Look at my perks and see what I can do to make things. Because uh, maybe. Um, I don't know if adrenaline's actually worth it. Hey, there's Will. I was kind of figuring I'd have at least a weapon that I could do something with. All right, so I've got not don't have a ton of rounds. I'm kind of actually surprised. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? So if I took out Action Boy, Covert Operative, maybe I should take out Covert Operative as well. Although I don't really have a lot of. Uh, Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I took out Marathoner, Born Survivor. I'll I'll do Sneak because that'll that'll let me avoid fighting. All right, we'll take out Action Boy. We'll at least put in Master. Let's see here, Agility, Agility. Let's do Master Gunslinger. I don't want to rank them up to rank three is the problem because most of the time I probably don't want to. Uh, um. Yeah, there's no way to unrank them. I wish you could stack rank one. I wish I could just have a bunch of rank one cards. And uh, let's do this. We'll just do it. We're going to do a little bit. And maybe... Oh, let's see here. It's like I had everything set and I knew it wasn't going to be enough. We'll just do two ranks of Action Boy. So it's only going to be a little bit of extra damage, but that's okay. So our damage on our pistol is up to a whopping 90. Do I have drugs? Not really. So I don't really have anything I can get addicted to either. I mean, I've like I mean, I could probably get a psycho addiction. And what is a psycho addiction? Maybe I'll do that. That cuz that's like an extra 10% damage. All right, maybe if I pick up more drugs, I'll do that. Uh we got to talk to the overseer. Don't want to, but that's the job. Booze. Oh, yeah, booze. That's a good one, Dale. Because that's one of the ones you do. You do alcohol, you do 
Psycho. I know that's one of the ones you want. I can't remember the other ones. Some of the ones are kind of hard to come by is the thing. But booze, that's a good one. Yeah, I should do that. I'll, so when I can get enough, like usually I like to have like 10 of something. That's enough to get going in terms of uh, I've already looted that. So and I've already looted this. Yeah, I was actually here earlier today just talking to her to get the other quest started and I looted her house. So everyone would have been proud of me. I cleaned it out. Well, I mean, I didn't take food or anything, but I took all the stuff. You could see she has like no, no, nothing there. I took all the stuff. Wait, is she right here? There she is. All right. Now she wants me to go to Vault Tech. Look, now that one, a few. It's PTS is not open, Brian. They closed it a uh, week, ten days ago, something like that. They closed it a, a bit ago, and it's not going to reopen. That's it. It's that's the PTS cycle done for this time around. Mutant sled pipe. I was hoping. All right, so now I have to go to Vault Tech. Uh, let's. Oh, you know, before I do that, let's do the daily. I want to do Ward's daily. Since I already picked it up, where does it want me to go? Oh, right here. All right, perfect. I can I can seek around there. Alcohol, Mentat, Psycho, me oh, Medex. That's the one, yes. Psycho Tats. Yeah, that's a Psycho one. So yeah, whatever, Psycho. Alcohol. All right, I'll just have to start picking that stuff up. Okay, let's see if this will actually uh, do the thing or actually show me the thing. Like how close I am. Because so far, this... Oh, there we go. Signal strength. It's actually going to work. I'm guessing they're in here fighting with... Uh, that's probably them right there. Raider Fiend. Oh, because the Raiders are... Is he right in here? Okay. <laughs> Things are going poorly for people. I'm not here to fight. I am just here to, uh, let's go back to ward. I'm gonna let that Yagwai just take care of everyone. <laughs> While I count down. Hey, Eric, welcome, welcome. What do addictions do for you? Well, if you have a junkies, if you have a weapon that's legendary, it's junkies. Up to five, ad each addiction will give you 10% damage bonus up to, up to 50%. Day Tripper or daddy -o. Yeah, those are the ones that are kind of hard to get, like, enough of them and Calmex as well. Those are what, because you can't craft. I don't think you can craft any of those. So those are the ones respective. I do. Well, when I'm rocking a single action revolver, I'm I'm respecting everything. So that's going to be my mantra today will be to avoid combat whenever I can. Won't always be possible, but whenever I can, I'm going to avoid combat. But I'm hoping, I'm, I think I'm, I've got to be pretty close to friendly. And if I can get up to friendly, I think the next rank is friendly. If I can get up to friendly, then I can get the backpack mod that'll reduce my food weight. Not a huge thing, but it's very generous. It's really the only thing I have to spend gold on. Oh, I'm so close. Is that the next? Yep. All right. Although I don't know if that's friendly or if that's something else. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, a cooperative, damn it. <laughs> Damn it, so I have a whole other thing. I thought it was, because I think it's friendly. Let's check though. I'm pretty sure it's friendly rep you need to buy the backpack mod. The heck is a joke? Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, that's too bad. Let's turn in our gold bullion. Do this. Okay, let's go meet the uh, overseer. Where is she? Oh, right there. Well, I was just at Mama Dolce, so I'm glad I did that uh, that event. <laughs> freeze up points. Well, I don't, I'm not actually using it. Dale, I don't have, um, I don't have through hiker. I don't really have that much food, but it would just reduce the weight of things like purified water and whatever. So it'd just be like a convenience thing. It's not a big deal, but it is a thing. That was Mr. Morp. I don't know who Mr. Morp is. I mean that I saw at the thing who what's, what's a Mr. Morp. I don't need to go there. Really hoping the new update has some sweet quality of life improvements. Uh, yeah. Hopes and dreams are what this game was uh, built on. I'm hoping that they that they uh, that the uh, civil engineer armor is better than uh, what it was in the PTS. Not that it was bad armor, but the set bonus for me is is kind of lacking. So I'm kind of hoping that they tweak the set bonus even more. I doubt it's going to happen, but one can hope. All right.
Most wanted. Oh, I like most wanted. Hmm. Critical hit. Oh, jeez. At least I'm getting crits at a decent, uh, decent rate. Addictions are deb addictions are debuffed, so it's a, it's a matter of can you live with the debuff to get the bonus damage. And I'd be okay with that. You think the students never noticed who comes and goes? It does not matter what you may. <sighs> the most painful. This is this is one of the most painful quests in the game, I think. Most wanted to give a decent pistol. Yeah, if only I could use it. I can I can only use what I got. Is the problem. But it gives XP, and XP is good for leveling, but, uh, okay. <laughs> I hate robots. I hate them. Wish armor like Botsmith and Brotherhood had some unique perks. Yeah, I wish there were set bonuses for everything. I would like to have every armor set have some unique bonus to it, and all the power armor the same way. Just give everything its unique flavor. Um, I think that would be a good thing. It seems weird that they introduce new stuff with set bonuses, and yet the old stuff doesn't. It's like... They just have this thing where they don't want to go and touch anything that's already in the game and, and change it at all. That's why the, the game is unbalanced and uh Alright, let's go. I'm gonna I'm going to get I wanna get this over with, so I'm just running through. We're doing this and then uh if the event's still going, I'll join it after, but probably won't be. But once this quest is started, I I listen to the, the professor bot. If I leave, I'll probably have to listen to him again, so you're the new overseer. Yeah? They break everything they touch, so you can under... Well, there's that as well. I mean, if they were to fix something, then... Uh... That's not the... Dr. Loras had a... And I'm actually going to take another legendary perk right now, because I thought I'd already taken it and I forgot, but... Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I'm going to take uh, Master Infiltrator. Right, yes. Master Infiltrator. I thought I already took it, but I didn't, so we're doing it now. We're going to need it right here anyway. Let's get this gun out of our line of sight. We're not going to need a gun here. We're not going to be doing any shooting at all. We are... Uh, we're doing the express lane through this thing. Not express lane. Express lane would be like auto-click, but uh, there's that. Nope, wrong direction. Through the door. Get the holotape and... Uh, Hopefully, one time we did this and it was, uh, there we go. There's her holotape, perfect. <clears throat> There's the overseer. Overseer's like, I, I don't understand what the, uh, what the whole idea was. I'm gonna go along with you, but I'm not actually gonna participate. I'm just gonna aggro stuff, I'll chase along. I'll give you some kind of annoying dialogue. That's, whoops. <laughs> I, ju I jumped the gun a little bit. Are you correct in believing Thorn Armor is the best for stealth? Uh, it is the best for melee, I think. For stealth, uh, Covert Operative is the best, is the is the stealthiest. Yeah, Thorn is a Thorn is a melee armor. She was trying to save Fix something old and something new breaks. Yes, fix like an old TV, a good swift kick. Either picture comes back or vacuum tube blows. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's see. There is a bypass, only one unyielding piece, and 80% of max health, no more debuffs. Well, there's that as well. That's true. She's overseeing it's in the top. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm bad at that, yes, and she's she's overseeing me. What's this about, I have a choice. We're just gonna go back up to the start and wait for the prompt to actually uh, talk to Professor Bot. Since we don't actually have to be down there for the conversation. Problem is, without hearing the conversation, we'll let the overseer deal with that stuff since she likes to be aggroed. Without uh, hearing the conversation, you don't know what the progress is. So it's kind of frustrating there. We'll pick up this desk fan while we're waiting, though. I think it's actually a crime punishable by death to not pick up a desk fan in Fallout. At least in this version of it. She's checking me out. Well, who could blame her? My my guy is very uh, very uh, stylish with his uh, mismatched everything. Now I'm hopeful. I'm hoping the conversation can happen if I'm too far away. If I'm out of earshot, I could be wrong. Maybe it can't. I've never tried to be this far away before. Good job. 
That's a solution. All right, thank you. Well, it appears you. See, that was the first time. It actually works. I didn't actually have to be there. There we go. Back down, and we'll go and run through, and we'll let her fight everything again. And she's still talking to herself. Which is fine. I'm kind of talking to myself. Kind of. Am I an NPC? Is that what I am? Am I like an NPC in all of your lives? I never thought of it that way, but I guess I kind of am. Let's see here. We want to go something shooting something, and it's the overseer, so we don't care. Going through the door and uh, down here. Star of the projector. You can tell I'm a huge fan of this particular mission because I, I always try to do it as quickly as possible. All right, so while that plays, we're going to pick up some, uh, there's clipboards and stuff in here. And those might be useful, even though I've never crafted anything. There may come a time when I want to craft something. Let's see, clipboards are under here. Yeah, we got a bunch of clipboards and pencils and stuff. So there's a bit of scrap in here you may want. So you might as well uh, pick it up while you're waiting for this movie to play. Unless you want to watch the movie. should always watch it at least once, but after I don't know how many times, I'm, I'm kind of over it at this point. It's something I have in the background. Like if The Avengers comes on TV. I've seen that so many times. If it's on, I'll just have it on in the background. Private Overseer. Did she say you like strong men? I think she, yeah. Had the Overseer caught on another floor and watched the entire movie before she teleported to give you the scripted talk? Yeah, I mean, I've had it where she did that. I've had it where she was in the opening area when you go right inside the door where she was waiting. So it's just, uh, she doesn't need to be in the room right here for the for the movie to take place. You can You can make the quest work without any of that nonsense. So... <clears throat> Doesn't matter where she's positioned. No. She's like me with big shoulders. See, there she is. She she made it eventually. Yeah, the, the biggest mistake on this is thinking that you have to stay by her side. Unless that's what you want. But if you're looking to get this thing done, sticking by her side, uh, not so much. Because she's she hangs up on everything, so... I wonder how many people are not here yet because uh, because of the time change. Oh, someone's wanted. Iron Tree. Yeah, U.S. had its time change yesterday. And I hate daylight savings. It's stupid. But I think the rest of the the rest of the world is later, like next week or the week after, something like that. So we're going to be off, off sync for a bit. All right. Is that event still going? Nope. Did it actually go? Yeah, it must have gone because there's people there. That's okay, it was worth it to get this behind me, and then, uh... Actually, we may be able to get our rep up, actually, because some of the, uh... The foundation stuff actually is rep, and every every step of the way is rep, so... May be able to get that going. Alright. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just agreeing to everything. Alright, there's that, and now what do we have to do? We do overseer overseen. All right, well, let's go clean out some inventory real quick. I've got, I think, a couple, of, well, at least one legendary piece, maybe two. Get those taken care of. And uh, yeah, Gunther's Big Iron would have been an improvement over this or anything. Just, yeah, that was so bad. Should have gone melee. Should have, could have, would have. Uh, let's see here. Scrap all of the stuff we picked up. Oh, we got, uh, oh, oh, and I learned a more aerodynamic. Probably I'll never use that, but that's okay. The more mods we learn, the more options we have. Oh, and that's, that's actually something I should do. I didn't actually look to mod my armor. So yeah, it was just a lead, just a lead pipe. Let's see if I'm about, about modding the armor, actually. I didn't even look to do that. Because the chest, I'm sure we can make better. Let's see, did I upgrade the backpack to make uh, max level? I did. Okay, so the leg, we can make it painted. So that'll give us an extra 10 and energy resistance. And oh yeah, five rad, extra 10 that. Ultra light, um, that's extra AP. Do I have the stuff? Yeah, I could do that. Let's do a uh, garish paint job. Oh, let's do this one, stuntman paint. Shovel would have been, oh, shovel would have been fun. I love shovels. They're not that strong, but a shovel would have been fun. 
Um, let's uh, do our armor because I think we've got. Yeah, we do have. Oh, let's rank this up. All right, armor. Here we go. Hey, Kara, give those holotapes a listen. I swear some of those will send you to sleep. They go on and on. Yes, they do. I've I've heard them all. I've listened to every holotape in the game. Well, I don't know about every holotape. There's probably holotapes that I haven't picked up, but I've listened to a lot of holotapes. Okay, so this is standard. We can do studded. Oh, yes, yeah, studded is massive upgrade. And we only have lighter, so we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do lighter, and we'll do... Um, that stuntman paint is pretty ridiculous. And let's do this. I can't upgrade, I can't mod this, but, uh, oh, stuntman paint. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now here's our look. There we go. Very patriotic and, uh, <laughs> there we go. Yes. Like, almost looks like a Wonder Woman outfit. Okay. Let's uh, swap in our gunslinger again, gunsmith. Okay. Talk to Meg, talk to Pe or Meg. Yeah, Meg, Paige. I was gonna say mage, mage and peg. Yeah, I've listened to all the overseers tapes. That's what I meant to. That's what I was thinking when I said I've listened to all all the holotapes. tapes. I've listened to all the overseers holotapes, tapes, and yes, some of them will put you to sleep. Some of them will just yeah. What is it? It's like once she you know once she locked Evan out. It's like you know he's the guy you're gonna marry, and you don't want room for him. That's uh, he didn't deserve. She didn't deserve Evan's love. This that's all I have to say about that. You got that's all. <sighs> it's like, oh, I know the world's ending and we're gonna get married, but we could start thinking yeah, there's no room for you. Oh well. Even though I'm in charge of well, this yeah, vault, I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna make a spot for you. <clears throat> there we go. So I don't like her for that. That's that's all the reason I need. Let's go talk to Meg. <clears throat> Adrian Barbeau, yes, just had her 77th birthday over the weekend. All right, happy birthday, Adrian Barbeau. Yeah, it's really weird. I saw her in something not that long ago. I don't remember what it was, but I mean, she was in, you know, movie or it was probably a movie. And uh, yeah, hearing the overseer's voice come out of an actual person is weird. <laughs> so yeah, evil can evil build. It is. I mean, you got to be a daredevil to run around with that. The, the weapons I'm running around with. Looks like a little. Yep. Yeah, Work like a charm. Wants... Well, we so this time, what I think I'm going to do is I'll do both. I'll do the I'll do the the foundation and the crater quest line. I'll do them all for the, this go round. But we're going to start with foundation just because um, just because I want to get my rep. I'm trying to get that uh, friendly rep so I can get the uh, backpack. Not that it's going to make a huge difference or anything, but I just have it in my head. That's where I want to go. So plus, I think with the current weapons I have, I think the uh, I think the foundation stuff's a little easier. Uh, it's a little longer, but I think it's a little easier. So with the current weapons I have, I think that's that's prudent. Swamp Thing, Creep Show, Back to School, John Carpenter movies, probably The Love Boat. It wasn't any of those things. I don't remember what it was. I think it was something that was actually fairly current that I saw her in. It wasn't an old thing. I think, like I said, I don't remember what it was at all. I just remember it's like, oh, that's there's the overseer being... I knew she was the overseer, but it's just kind of jarring to hear to, me to hear the overseer too. coming out of her, coming out of because uh, she doesn't look anything like the overseer. So it's not like they modeled her after, oh, no, no. you know, after Adrian Barbeau. Because <clears throat> probably they didn't need to. They had no intention of ever showing her when this thing came out, right? It was just going to be a voice on all the tape and leave it at that. And people are like, no, we want NPCs and be careful what you wish for. That's, that's what I've learned from the Wastelanders update is be careful what you wish for. Uh, let's, uh, probably company T let's refresh that. In fact, I may need to refresh my company T. Yeah. What I have is going to, okay. So I do have some that's not going to spoil. Okay. Um, let's do trade secrets. Is it daytime out there? Yes, it is. It's daytime. How are we doing on the... Uh, okay, so we've got a few minutes before the next event. I don't want to be skipping all the events today, but actually, let's stop at my camp first. Since I just got, like, stuff as reward, so let's scrap it and store it and then go into uh, Hornwright. One of the many things Todd was against ended up being wrong. Uh, I don't know. I'm not convinced he was wrong, to be honest. Like, I'm not convinced that this game is better for having NPCs in it. I mean, I think having a less buggy experience, you know, having like game breaking bugs and stuff in the beginning hurt it a lot, but I don't know. I don't, 
I mean, it probably made it more popular, but I don't know that it's a better game for having NPCs in it. Because the, the way that the dialogue and stuff is implemented, I don't think it's super awesome. So, And I think a lot of the NPCs they put in it are kind of annoying and awful. So, yeah. So I have a crowd freezer. So I do have some meat just to show people in case I do have to go melee. So I've got, you know, I'm buying that from the White Spring. So I have a few melee things. Good to go. Just sitting there. But since I'm not doing melee today, that will have to wait for another time. Okay, here. But I didn't play the pre-Wastelanders version, but at the same... I don't know. It's not... Uh, maybe it's just because I've done everything so many times, so I see every little flaw. Or what I see as a flaw. Obviously, it's just opinion, and I know people like, you know, like this stuff, but... Uh, the Cryo Freezer? No, that... Was that a fallout first? I think that was in the Atom Shop. Right, wasn't it? I think it was on the it was it was on the scoreboard, but I think they put it in the atomic shop or something. It seemed like it was something anybody could get, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Still say all new games should start at the beginning till you finish. Oh, you mean start with the the pre wastelanders? Uh, I would love to have the option to play that until you drop a nuke or until some such. You know, if they if they forced everyone to do that, though, I think what had happened is the game it the game would probably die. I mean, I think that's the, that's the thing is I think that the route that they went was the smart route because I think it keeps the game it it, it keeps more players in the game. Get it for bullion at crater. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, thank you. So if I could do a sneak attack, I could do damage. The problem is. Uh, my sneak attack count is pretty limited because once I shoot something, yep, I got to shoot two things though before I became dangerous. So that's good. It's usually one in here. Critical will finish him off. Now move out of the way. Nothing there. Um, something shot me. It wasn't that. So we're gonna go up the stairs. Oh no, we're hidden. All right, cool. So we get on this and do the mother load. I don't know why it leads you there. It makes no sense that the quest sends you there. Like that, it should send you right here. Cause you, until you get, pick up the mother load quest, you can't do anything else. So yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. It's not a memo, it's a message. I always think it's a memo and it's a message. I'm waiting for it to say checkpointed. That's not it. There we go, checkpointed, okay. So let's uh, switch out trade secrets and go to the mother load and go upstairs. You can get a, uh, let's see, the fast fast forward a year to Wastelanders. I think if they force people to do that, the game would probably, I, don't, I think it would suffer because a lot of people don't have any interest in launching a nuke. And so to lock out all the content because they haven't launched a nuke. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that. Like, I'm not saying that they shouldn't have given us NPCs because I do think the game would have died had they not put NPCs in the game. But, uh... But I don't know that it makes the game better. It just makes it, I think, more... It gives it more appeal. But it's a guess, right? Human NPCs feel wasted, in your opinion. They're still mostly static. Usually won't come across them. Well, and, they're, and they don't do anything. I mean, so for example, where my camp is, right here, there's the lumber yard, right? And they put NPCs in there. Those NPCs do not react to anything. So they're dead a lot of the times. And it's not because it's a glitch. It's not like, oh, they just spontaneously die. It's because they get attacked and do not fight. So they can die, like Scorched. I've seen Scorched. I've seen robots go in there and kill them. They just stand around and die. They don't, they don't, you know, it's the same thing if, if uh, like cultists attack foundation, because I've seen that a number of times, they don't fight back. And for me, that's like really poor, a poor design. El Salzi, hello. Don't like the legendary crafting. You spend two weeks of farming cores and modules and spend all on fixers and get nothing good. Yeah, sounds about right. Hello, Steve. Welcome, welcome. Had better like buying good weapons and actually looting them. Um, Lately, it's been like, uh, like eviction notice where, where I've gotten better drops than, uh, that actual crafting or purveyor. Although the purveyor, I've gotten good stuff here and there. Mostly nothing, so. After being the two NPCs at entrance of 76, they should move to the Wayward or Flatwoods or something. Yes. But I, I don't know. I mean, it's that that's the thing. It's It was added on. I mean, basically, the NPCs in this game, are, they were kind of glued on <laughs> after the uh, 
We kind of need to go up a level. Up the stairs here. Uh, they were just kind of an add-on to a game that wasn't intended to have them, and so I don't they don't function very well. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's again, I think it's I think I probably saved the game. I just I just don't care for the the implementation, you know, the way it actually worked. Sheeple NPCs. Virtual NPCs glitched in our simulation theory. There you go. Give Bethesda props. They've added some cool, unique weapons within the last year. Um, yeah. I mean, the fact that they're still... I mean, honestly, I think it's kind of a miracle that they're still putting money into this game. Or any kind of resources at all, just because... Yeah. I don't think the game was ever intended for that. I mean, I think their intention was, we're going to have this game... They'll put out a what you know, like a funny thing once in a while, but they're going to leave it up to the players to kind of make their own adventures. And I, I think this game was de was designed as a low, like a low maintenance thing that would just kind of run itself. And so they could have easily just said, "Well, this isn't what we were going to do." So they could have killed it. They could, you know, they could have done a lot of things. So the fact they still are trying to, they're still updating it. I mean, obviously it's got to be a money maker, but still they didn't have to do that. Uh, let's see here. Even though, and it's got to be impossible to make, because you'll see like somebody make a suggestion and somebody else talk tell you why that suggestion's bad. So you have like 100 people that love this suggestion, another 100 that tell you why it's bad. So if two people are on opposite sides, there's no way you can make anyone happy, right? So like trying to be a game developer, it's got to be really frustrating. I, I got to say, uh, let's see, blackmail is what we want. Uh, let's see, dig up dirt. Uh, let's see. Offer jobs. Turn it over the details. And there we go. View my results. Well, of course I passed. I am Hornwright Executive Material. Give me my ID card, please, and thank you. And down we go. Where's the stairs? Where's the st Oh, there's the stairs. That is where we want. We want to be down the stairs, down the thing. Now... Sometimes they're scorched in here, sometimes there's not. We're about four years away from the next fallout. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> we are not, we are not four, we're not, we're not. We might be four years away from them starting to conceptualize, starting to outline the next fallout. I, I don't believe we're gonna, I, I would be, if we get one within 10 years, I'll be surprised. Connecting. Then they keep updating it for marketing and other games. Well, I think they keep updating because it it's profitable. I mean, between Fallout First and the Atomic Shop, I think this game makes plenty of money. So I don't. Uh, if it wasn't making money, they wouldn't. Do, they wouldn't keep doing it. And I think they'll keep it updated until the next Fallout game, which is a long ways away. Use Penny and Penny's info to get your ID. Wait, what? Can't remember. Is this the one? Direct oversight. This is the one, right? I'm looking for the... Uh... There we go. I keep uh, wrong thing. 36984. Not sure what you mean. We are about four years away from being Fallout. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more likely. What do you mean you use Penny's info to... Uh... I say three. There we go. Um, I don't know what you mean. Let's see, right away. I keep looking for drugs, but I'm all I'm finding is like stuff that you can't get addicted to, like Radex and uh Aren't we supposed to get Fallout 4 remastered? Oh, yeah, we should that's supposed to be this year. I'll take this fusion core. We're yeah, Fallout uh Fallout 4 next uh, next gen update. That's supposed to be a thing this year. My guess is it comes out when the TV show hits. So I think we're gonna get that in the next month, but maybe we're not. You can steal Penny's info from the archives to get your ID. Oh, all right, that's a good to know. I didn't know that. Well, it's too late now. I'll, I'll have to uh, remember that for next time. Uh, let's see. I thought I did this already. Begin deployment, now I did it. All right. Let's go in here and grab our ID card for later. Always grab the ID card. When you Always grab this, kids. You'll need that at some point. That'll save you a trip. You can get another place, but just grab it now. Save yourself the trouble. Sub-level, yes. Feel like we're less than a year from it from from the next gen update i think it's going to be that when the when the series comes out but we'll see we'll find out in a month if i'm wrong i mean i won't be surprised either way if we get it or if we don't get it 
in a month. But they have this habit. Like, that's the thing about, about Bethesda. Just because they haven't announced it. Like, they have this habit of saying, and we, you can actually get it now, right? So even though, uh, I guess there's no, what? Okay, there's supposed to be a bunch of mole miners in here. I think someone else has been here recently. I swear I heard a mole rat. Um, all right, there's something somewhere. There's a score. Oh, maybe it's just score shot another level. I don't know. All right, there we go. Probably coming shortly after the show launch. You know, I, I it wouldn't surprise me. So here, oh, my team just disappeared again. Did I did it say I booted you? I didn't. Uh, but my guess, is, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, the day the show comes out, like during the first episode, there's a, an, uh, an ad for it where it says you can download it now. Like that honestly wouldn't surprise me if that's how they announce it is like at the beginning of the show. That would be how I would do it. If it was me, that's how I would do the next gen update is I would announce it at the beginning of the show, the day, as soon as it's released and then, you know, get people involved. Because really, the, the show, the success of the show should drive people to these games. So Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Whether it does or not, I don't know. Do you find it odd they're doing a Fallout 4 remaster instead of a New Vegas remaster? Well, yeah, but New Vegas wasn't really there. That wasn't them that made New Vegas. So, And Fallout 4 is a lot more current. So it would make more sense to to, to remaster you know, a game that's a lot that's current, I think. I mean, they could remaster everything, but... Speaking of, it, but it's not a remaster. That's the thing. It's just a next gen update, which I don't necessarily think is the same. Speaking of series, did you see the new trailer? I absolutely did, Dale. It looks really cool. It looks it looks uh, true to Fallout. So I, I think it looks promising. I'm glad they're releasing all of the episodes on the uh, on the same day. Let's see, trade secrets. Make sure I get this all everything right. I do I do like that. So. The eyes covering a head glowing Snallagaster are still moving. Uh-oh. All the games to give next-gen update, but it makes sense considering Fallout 4 and the show share the same visual. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. That's the thing is it looks like, I mean, Fallout 4 looks like the show or the show looks like Fallout 4, however you want to look at it. So it makes sense to give people a game, especially if they're new, if they haven't played Fallout before, give them a game that looks just like what they're watching. That makes a lot of sense. And it also makes the sense that, uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it would make sense. But who knows? Maybe they don't announce it till December. But to me, it would be so smart to do it when the show comes out. But what do I know? Told your boss you're taking the day off? Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. No, it's yesterday while Mother Load has her item boxes when she's here. When she's at Penny's bunker, she doesn't? I didn't even notice. For the outfit that got data mined from the show. Yeah, I think that's going to be a prime bundle. I think. I think there's a Prime bundle that's got a Vault 33 jumpsuit and a ghoul, the ghoul duster, whatever. Biggest downgrade of an assault rifle ever? Uh, oh, okay. So now it's sending me over... No? Okay. Yes, no? Horn ride estate and safe room. All right, that's the next spot. All right, let's go here and uh, lighten our load. Was there an event? I know event popped up. I don't remember what it was. I think I looked at it and went, eh, I don't care. Some days I'm into events. Some days I'm into questing. Today I'm kind of more into questing. But if a cool event comes up, yeah, it was guided meditation, I think. I don't need to do that. Jeez, am I in a rad zone? No, it just looks like a rad zone. All right, let's look at plan. I bet I have like plans and stuff that I've learned. Oh, quite a few combat rifle, Ronin helmet, prime. Oh, wow. Okay, so some of this must have been from the last, <laughs> from the last stream where I got like a, cause there was a, I think there was a Scorch Beast fight. So that would have been where that came from. Cause I was actually able to do enough damage in that one. So I got that and uh, let's see. My weight's okay. Uh, let's see here. Super stims, Radex. Yeah, I don't have any fusion core. We'll store the fusion core. 
Don't really need... Oh, three... I got... Wow, several fusion cores. All right. Cool. All right, let's go to... Actually, I guess let's go here. Oh, wait. Have I been... Oh, no, I haven't been there. All right, we'll go here. Perf, Insomnia, hello, hello. Get cams from the ghouls in the event. Oh, that's true, I could have. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even think of that, but I was kind of in the middle of the quest, so it was bad timing. Fallout 4 has such a great story, it's kind of poetic. My son wanted to die until I finally found him running in a cult as a dictator. I like the, well, I like it okay. Bots on parade, I'm not joining, I'm just running on by. I'm gonna take these, uh, should have plenty of ammo, but I'm taking it anyway. Hey, Jules, welcome. Um, okay, there's robots. We're just gonna run on by the robots. There's mole miners. That is the, that is a mantra for today. If I can run away, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run away. Let's get the mine though. Might as well pick this up since we're here. Having locations is a good thing. I think I'm already out of the event area, but you still, I wish when you left an event area, I guess I didn't. I wish if you rejected a quest like this, it would just stop the recording. All right, come on, give me, give me, give me, just give me the location. It's all I'm looking for. Can't find a set of shielded road leathers to save your life? Ah, okay, do you need some? Um, I can hook you up later, I can't do it now, but if you need it, if you need, sh if you need some shielded leathers, I can, I can hook you up with some later. I've got it on my main account. Actually, I probably have it on like most of my characters at this point. Mutated party packs have given me a lot of those plans. I don't think I have any of those plans though. I may actually have a, yeah, I may have that too. I actually may have a shielded plan, but yeah. Oh, yep, Jules could do it too. Yeah, he's actually on my server, right? He was on my server, he must be server hopping. <laughs> he was. Nothing says living on a budget like saving your ammo in a shooting game by running away. I'm not trying to save my ammo. I'm just trying to, uh, <laughs> that's not the goal. I'm just really weak. That's the thing. I'm really weak. And so avoiding combat is in my best interest. That's, that's my thing. I don't care. I mean, I don't need to save ammo on a 44. Ammo on for, for 44 is so easy to come by. There you go. Thank you very much, Jules. So nice of you. Everyone's so nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe up the hill? Ah, okay. Hmm. Pro <laughs> I don't think I went the right way. Uh, maybe? No, I think... Uh, okay, no. I'm, I'm making things worse for myself. I should have just kept going. I thought, oh, I could just go up right here. But no, this isn't Skyrim. If it was Skyrim, I would just go backwards and just jump, jump, jump. Get there eventually. Okay, I want to tell you, Jules is a jerk. Don't don't listen. Don't uh, don't believe the hype. He's not nice at all. Oh, it's somewhere. There we go. I feel like I'm not zoomed out. There we go. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I think the camera was a little too close. Was the problem? I, is this now? Is this where I have to go across the street? No, that's for the other one. That's for the. Uh, the other quest. This one I just have to go upstairs. And down there. Hey Jer Bear. Welcome, welcome. Now I think on this one, if your isn't if your luck is high enough, you can actually uh you can actually you guess the pass uh isn't that a thing? Guess the password if your luck is high enough. I think someone pointed that out last time. After I ran all around. And my luck on this character is decent. It should be... Because it's four... I think it's 14. Plus I got two from the vault suit and two from... So I should be 18 luck. Should be enough to pass any kind of uh, skill check. If that's a thing. So we'll try that. Make life a little easier and less running around. At least we're somewhat sneaky though. Which is good. All right, so let's do this. Secondary passcode entry. It's not giving me an option to, uh... oh, I, probably what I need to do, 
Maybe once it tells me to do that. There we go. Now if we do it, can we can we guess? There we go. That's why I've never seen it before, because I've never gone back to that. So I just do this, print that. All right. Awesome. That's so much easier. So much easier. Learn something new every day. That's why I never noticed it before, because I never went back. I would just... Uh, Wow, he's got his he's got his uh, zappers ready to go, so I'm gonna get out of his way. We're cruising along. We're just powering through this quest. I know Stip. Uh... Oh, Jibber, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Who we got? Willie Gage. All right, cool, 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 cool. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome, Will. Thank you, Jibber. Oh no, this is where I wait. Wait. Um, uh-oh. I think it broke. Did it break? It broke. Um, yeah, this is broken. Damn it. Well, it was bound to happen. Yeah, nothing's going on here. Area clearance detected. Ah, Initiating it's just really slow. Okay, here we go. It's just really, really slow. Perfect. Now, this safe room is a lot less safe than I expected. Breach I like complete. Penny, she's great. Breach complete. That um now, wait, wait, wait just a minute. <laughs> you can't just bother. The one where I used her as a as my ghoul friend on the the thumbnail. That was one of the lowest watched uh one of my lower watched out of recent recent reach re, uh, recent streams. I don't think people like the thumbnail. No car. Yep, no cargo containers at all. Wait, how is Where are they? Where do the cargo containers go in between? Hmm. Inquiring minds. Solid 70% of quests in this game are busted. Some are more busted than others. But there are some that you run into, like this one. I've seen it busted quite a few ways. The wayward quest line is um, usually anytime there's access cards, that's where I've run into issues with that is the access cards like not registering even though I have them. And of course the vault raid, which is all kinds of broken, but yeah. Message retracted. Oh, Penny has a sweet voice, but a face for which they invented light switches. <laughs> yes. It's all about what's on the inside. I like Penny. Cause you know, eventually everyone looks like that, right? So it's, <laughs> it's, but it's, uh, but if they're ugly on the inside, you don't. Once the outside matches, then that's that's it. So, Penny is adorable. I agree. Prince Julius rocks. Don't tell anybody though. Tell everyone that he's a jerk. Nuka World on tour has the worst voice act. Oh, Nuka World on tour is awful. Th those characters are terrible. They're so bad. It's like, hey, we were gonna make this area with all these games and let people hang out, but then we're gonna populate it with the most annoying NPCs possible, so people don't want to be there. Good plan. Penny's one of the better NPCs. I agree. Well, that was exciting. You haven't gotten a single glitch for quests? That's very nice, actually. I've gotten, in fact, I tend to get at least one in a, per stream. <laughs> if I could do a stream without getting something, you know, having something go wrong, that's a good thing. I don't understand. Prince is there. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I would like a balloon. It should, it'd be great. Like, honestly, a good touch on that is if there was a way to say, yes, I want a balloon and have her give you a balloon. But that's not a thing, so. otherwise you And there's no proximity. Like, if you're far away, if you're close, their voices are just as loud, which is also annoying, so. And, they, and they're really talky, even if you don't talk to them. If you're there by yourself, so. All right, I'll get that stuff. So is this the, uh, okay, so this is the the two places. All right. So we do have an assault rod in our future. What are we doing? Okay, we have an event coming up soon. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait 30 seconds, I think. Since we got an event coming up, I may fast travel to that instead of the location. And so we'll just sit here. Does what rads take away the need to have rad away? Uh, e it depends. It helps. Uh, it, uh. I mean, rank one, I would say no. I mean, rank one is not enough to, because if you're, if you get like, if you go to say scorched earth and you get heavily irradiated, rank one is going to help, but it's not going to be enough. Maximum rank. I don't use Radaway. I use, uh, look at that. 
Speaking of rads. And it also depends on the rad resist on your armor because that helps as well. So if you have like secret service or whatever, like my main character, I run secret service and max out what rads. So my radiation resistance is right around 600. Plus I get six rads healing per second. So unless I'm in a nuke zone for an extended period of time, I don't need anything. I carry like nuka grapes, like a few nuka grapes is all once in a while. But uh, I don't ever carry Radex anymore. Like it really does away the need for Radex, Rad Shield, any of that. At least for me. Display cases don't seem to be working. Uh oh. Oh look at we got people here already. All right, let's go check on. Let's just let's just do this. We got people. Let's get the show on the road. I'm not scared, even though I should be. And also, and it also, well, I was gonna say, I guess if you're low health, you're not using it. I was gonna say, if you're low health, <laughs> Spoonie, welcome. Yeah, I guess if you're low health, you're probably not using it anyway, because it heals you. It heals your rad. Yeah, yeah, I'm just run away. And there's Jules. Hello, hello. Oh, they saw eviction notice, probably. <laughs> they saw eviction notice. Okay, I'll get this meat bag taken care of someday. Get jealous when others get eviction notice. I got it earlier today as well. I was on it. It was actually a really good one, too. I was playing a melee character, and I was able to get hits on everything. That was, uh, which is unusual. Usually when I'm in a melee character, I have to resort to using cold shoulder. But, yeah, I was able to actually get hits and kill stuff. There was only about six people there, and the event didn't fail. So the, we had just enough people to make the event go smoothly. And I was able to, uh get hits on stuff so it was awesome it was actually a fun eviction notice which is pretty rare usually you get eviction notice everything dies there we go all right we're going for some body shots oh body shots okay there we go shiny hits on what i can I think there's another one over here. There we go. I'll be probably swimming in ammo when this is over, but. Does Secret Service Armor give you an armor set bonus? No, it doesn't. There's no armor set bonus. Unless you're talking about like, like with funky duds or whatever. But yeah, in terms of like having a full set of Secret Service, no, there's no, there's no set bonus. Game glitched and your crops are growing insanely fast. Fallout 4, oh nice. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, let's see here. You start a fallout row with someone else and we are gaining all perks while in Far Harbor and survival. We also didn't use the console command. Oh, okay. Are you using that? I guess you're using the mod that lets you play with another person or are you play in simultaneously the same game. Just use the perk card during the day. Uh, what rads during the day, not uh, not at night? What? Or use us? Uh, or use sun? Oh, the sun kissed one. Yeah, you could use sun kissed. That that'll do it during the day. Don't share that perk though. <laughs> I did that. Don't don't do that. No legendary cores. That's true. Yeah, that's true. There's that's the bonus. Is it doesn't cost legendary cores to craft. But yeah, there's no. Uh, Oh, simultaneous? Okay, that's that's actually kind of fun. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Um, where are they? Uh, they're gone. All right, they're dead. All right, I was going to try to be a hero, but uh, not so much. I, I got to say, I don't actually need legendaries. This character has so many. That's why I did a script video with it. The next script video will be this character because I have so much... So much script already, and, it, and, it fi and just using up 500 per stream just isn't enough to eat through it. I like the armor. I like this paint. It's kind of fun. It actually works well with the vault suit. That's a... <laughs> One thing they got right in this game, they got really, really right, was the super mutant death noises. Like, just the sounds they make when they die are so good. If you could swap that card in and out as needed for free. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. Well, and you can always carry, um, I mean, the, the reason I don't like, I don't like Rataway just because it gives you a, it increases your disease chance. 
so I, I don't use Rad away, but uh, I think I like Nuka Grape because it actually takes your Rads and heals you at the same time. So Nuka Grape is kind of what I stockpile on characters instead of using uh, instead of using Rad away. I mean, obviously you have to spend caps on it, but caps are you know whatever. Caps aren't exactly a, a difficult a difficult thing to come by. Executioner's 25-25 combat rifle. That's actually good. That's a nice one. Wish this game had transmog so you could wear secret service with the appearance of Brotherhood. Probably there's mods for that. I don't know. It's a good roll. It's a good roll. Nuka, yeah, the Nuka Collectron. That's what I use on my... Uh, I put one down on my main character and I've started to... I mean, I've got more Nuka Grapes than I know what to do with. I've started leaving them in the machine because I just have so many. So yeah, if you want Nuka Grapes, Nuka Cranberries, Nuka Orange, all those, yeah, the Nuka Collectron really gives you a lot. Just a steady supply of all those rarer Nukas. And then you don't have to spend caps at all. Well, okay. Oh, that's why I'm like, why didn't I Vats that guy? He was already dead. He just didn't know it yet, and neither did Vats. Yeah, on a fixer. Yeah, on a fixer. That oh, even on a combat rifle. Combat rifle's still solid. It's not. Uh, depending on how you're playing, you could you could have it so that you're you don't actually notice a ton of difference between a combat rifle and a fixer. Add cola nut and sell all your stim packs. There you go. The problem is if you're on uh, if you're using your like if you're on console or you're using a controller like I do. You know, the, the stim pack button can't be keyed to other things. Like, I can't make the stim pack button give me Nuka Cola. It'll always do a stim pack, so I can't really do that. But that works well with the keyboard where you can hotkey stuff. And I probably would. But I don't use that. Ram, I think, is. He's looting and scrapping a bit during the event. There you go. Combat. I like the combat. I mean, combat rifle's fine. I'm more of a handmade person versus the combat rifle slash fixer just because I find them to be kind of not, uh... Oh! I'm just trying to get hits in. There we go. I don't know. If, oh, now I'm stuck. And then I heard that weird water splash. I have no idea what that's from. There's a, uh... Watch out! There's fire! Ooh, 164 with a critical hit. That's something. Oh, there's another one. I think I just leveled up. Yep, 93. All right, maybe I'll get to 100 today. How about that? Mod this thing and check it out. What does Butterfly Sanctuary collect? I think, it, oh, that collects acid. I think it holds up to 10, so it's not a lot, but it does. it just collects acid. So it's good for that. It's just a passive acid collector. So, but if you've done like 10 million uh, Earls, you probably have all the acid you'll ever need. Uh, let's see, I guess the other one died. Everything's dead, all right. <laughs> everything's, everything's dying. Yeah, this is not like the one I did earlier. The one I did earlier stuff was not dying instantly. It was dying slowly. It was great. Too much power on this server. Looks pretty. Yeah, that's true. It looks good too. Yeah, the butterfly. I mean, it looks cool too. It looks cool and it, uh, yeah, it collects acid. Nope, run away. Keep your fireballs away. Uh, uh oh. Oh no, everything's dying. I thought, oh, we're, in, we're under siege, but not so much. Uh, nope, okay. <laughs> okay. I hear shooting. I go there and it's dead. We're almost done. We should have one more wave of super mutants and then it'll be time to pick up everything and look at all this great stuff that I can't use. Where's the other ones? There's one. Is there another one up here? Um, all right, guess not. I only saw two, another one must have insta died. Oh, uh, that's a uh... Hey, tedium. Notice an audio bug in this event where it thinks you're underwater. Everything sounds muffled. Then when you go up the hill, it takes you out of the pool. Eh, yeah, okay. 
Could be. I heard a little water splash earlier, but I've only I've never noticed anything consistent in this event. The only thing I noticed for sure is this stupid sound bug that always happens. I think I think that's a 50 cal that you need to uh like if you have a 50 cal and you can shoot it over here, that'll help get rid of it, but I don't have that. There's a Damala. Oh, there's another. There we go. Tag them in case they die at some point. Didn't get a lot of levels. What, I get like one level here? Not that much. I should have had uh, Cam eat stew. I don't know if it's still going. This event is much more fun to solo than Rad Rumble. I would think so. I've never tried soloing it. I don't really have. I have one character that's built to solo it, but... It has to be like perfect. It has to be like one of those things where I'd be like on on a on a private server, looking to solo stuff. And I'm usually not. If I'm on a private server, it's usually because I'm I'm either doing a video or doing research for a video or something. So I'm not usually on it to do events. So usually what happens is eviction notice pops up, and I go, uh, I'm kind of oh yeah, look at that settler rep moving on up. Gassy had a video about killing the audio bug. Yeah, it's it's just firing the it's a well-known thing. You just you just need to have the weapon. You need to have a weapon that you can shoot in that uh See, this would have been better. This berserker's, I mean, at least it's faster reload speed. But if you don't have one of those weapons to to doesn't really do you any good and I don't have one, so I can't do anything about it. So it's just there. I guess I get to store all the legendary since my script is full for the day. So, yeah, I'm probably going to end up... I'm probably going to get several script videos out of this character. Just because I just... I can't use the script as fast as I'm getting it. 500 per stream just isn't very much. Maybe in the final stream I'll do 1,000 or something. We'll do... We'll do the show... Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll do that. The final stream will be a shopping spree where I do 1,000. That'd be something. Probably wouldn't matter, though. Wasn't the fix to loot their corpse or something? Oh, maybe loot it directly? I don't know. I saw the video come up. I haven't seen it, though. I haven't watched it yet. In the observation area behind the bed and breakfast, there's a skeleton of a painter woman, but she didn't paint the view. She painted some random abstract art. They need to just get rid of it. Get rid of the, uh, the script limit. I mean, they just throw stuff at us. I'm, I can't get at my stash. There we go. All right. Let's see, there's that, that, uh, overeaters, uh, no. Overeaters, no. Uh, let's see, weapons, I got a Berserker's Cultist Dagger, that's, uh, that's no good. Executioner's Tesla Rifle, bash damage, no. Brake Slower is good, war drums are not good, harpoon guns are not good. Pirate Punch, that's actually good, that's a good, uh, that's a good one. Vampire's Black Powder, no. Uh, let's see, Vampire's Radium. Reload speed, limb damage. Uh, that could have been okay. Uh, zealots, zealots. All right, let's go sell some grenades and things. How about that? Eat them with cannibal. Oh, it's to eat them? Oh, it's to, uh, I don't have cannibal. I can't, I can't stand the sound of that cannibal perk. All right, let's see what got dropped here. Maybe it's something uh, I need. A demon mask. Oh, it's just ammo? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, loot all. What what part of loot all are you not understanding? Since it's all gonna go in here anyway. <clears throat> and now I'm up to 636 rounds. Inert flux. I wonder if I can sell that. Oh, buff out. Let's save the. Do I want to get addicted to buff out? I probably don't. Uh, let's see. Frag mine. We'll keep the medex, the mentats. I gotta remember I'm saving drugs that I'll probably never use. And I probably have a lot of grenades. That's usually the way it works. Yeah, a lot of grenades. I'm not even using grenades. Uh, let's see. What about... Uh, let's see. Stim packs. Let's get rid of, like, ten of them. Take that down. All right. All right, let's go get some stuff. Huntersville, here we come. First stop. The game would be way better if there were no vendor store caps. The game would be way better if there were no vendor store caps. I don't know what you mean. You mean if the vendors didn't have money? 
I'm not sure what good that would do to have vendors with no money, if that's what you mean. That can't be what you mean. That wouldn't make any sense. All right, so we've got some ghouls in here. Okay, geez. <laughs> I couldn't move. I was moving in slow motion. But yes, I am sneaking level 93. Okay. So what I'll probably do is, is a loadout that's... Uh, I hear... Oh, there we go. I always think there's one right here, but there's not. There's one right there. There's probably one. Oh, there's one upstairs. I heard a door open. So one is coming for me. So rather than let him come for me, I'm going to go for him. There we go. So if you could trade and sell all you want without the daily cap limit that goes across it. Oh, so if there was no cap limit. Oh, I got you. Um, The cap limit's kind of weird. I mean, honestly, I wish the trading system was the same in previous Fallout games where you could put up a bunch of stuff for sale and then offset it with stuff you buy. And that, because this game, it doesn't let you do that, right? So I wish at least that fun it functioned the same as previous Fallout games. That would make it a lot better than what it is now. But eating corpses. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, so we've got this. And uh, we'll take this vacuum tube and this glue. Is there something good in here? Let's, let's open this. Probably nothing going to be in, in here, but since we're here and it's and it's worth a ton of XP to pick a lock, might as well. Come on. Usually once eviction notice happens, the rest of the events on the server die. We've had some good events, though. We had Most Wanted. We had uh, eviction notice. This is not going well at all. We had Radiation Rumble. There we go. Jeez. That was way harder than... Ooh, oh, oh. Treasure map, pocket watch, leather leg. We can scrap to learn the mods. All right, let's go up to Alt Tech University. Up here. People would just sell purified water. Yeah, I mean, they probably have to have limits like that. Although, I don't know, caps are... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Without limits, then yeah, someone could just uh, exploit it in some way. And I mean, I don't really care about limits. I mean, it makes sense that a vendor would have a limit of how many, you know, how much money they have. But the way the trading system works now is when you sell stuff, you only get ha like half or less than half of what the, you know, it adds back. So if I sell something for, you know, a thousand, it only puts like 400 caps back. Or, I mean, if I buy something for a thousand. So I don't really like that. Okay, I'm not going to do. See, to me, that should just stop the recording. As soon as I exit the event or reject the event, it should just stop the recording. It should be like a holotape, but it's not. Aristo Ripper 25. Uh, that's what I have. That's the one. That's actually what I have. I think that's actually. I think that's actually the one I have. I think that's what it is. I think it's a. I think it's a 40 PA minus 25 AP. I think that's the one. I, the exact roll that I have. I think. I'm pretty sure. If that was vampires, the answer would be yes. But yeah, I think that's exactly the exact roll that I have. I'm pretty sure. Limit should be, depend on time played. So the longer I'm in a server, or uh, or the longer I've or the longer I've played the game, <laughs> feels like the game has unnecessary balancing to make you. Well, it does. It does. I don't know about the. I don't know if the cap limits the big, big problem though. I, for me, it would be more the. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? I'm just gonna go down. I could just run down and ignore everything. I mean, the script limit is ridiculous, uh, especially the way that everything is now given. I mean, we get three stars, just we're swimming in them. So it would just be better for the game, honestly, if three, if if the script limit was just nothing, if there was no limit, that'd be so much better for the game. Think of all the stashes that would be emptied out, all the just stuff laying around. But then it would be impossible to find stuff in vendors, probably, because everyone just turned everything in. So just play the game and stop worrying about the grind. The grind takes care of itself. Yeah. Thought cap limits were to balance economy a bit too. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, but I, I do think probably you do need a cap limit just because exploiting could be, because otherwise you could, you know, come up with some exploit where someone buys every, but then the thing, someone buys everything because there is only a limit to how much stuff you, how many caps you can hold at a time, which is, I don't know. It's weird. Should definitely be a currency exchange. Oh, I agree. I would love to see a currency exchange. All right, so we are going to... 
Now we're going to try and sneak past the Assaultron at the end. That's worked well with us uh, for us before, so. Come on. Yeah, this thing misses. This <laughs> just all those shots that just miss over and over again. This gun sucks. Single action revolver is hard to love. Okay, uh, let's check our food though. Company T, we're still going strong with Company T. All right, that's all we need. Think the point to 76 that it's open ended, there's no end game. Well, I think that's the thought. Less for the servers to keep track of, more stable servers. Exactly. So, I mean, getting rid of a script limit would help the game tremendously. Caps limit, I'm fine with. I've always been fine with that, but script limit is just so dumb. It's, ba it's bad for the game, honestly. Bad for the servers. It's just too much, too much shit laying around is the problem. Plus, it limits how long you can play, really, because that's... Because, you know, legendary stuff is kind of the end... You know, the end all for people is, like, collecting legendary stuff and uh, having your, uh, you know, limit on how long you can play because you can't turn it in. Oh, this thing is so bad. Yes, we're definitely sneaking past the... Uh, Okay, so if I can do a critical hit to the uh, thruster, that's still not enough. There we go. All right. Now we're going into super stealth mode. If I had a stealth boy, I'd use it. But we're going into super sneak mode. And uh, that's weird. I've never had that not trigger. Okay, there's supposed to be an Assaultron. I'm not going to complain. That uh, I've never seen that before where the Assaultron didn't even come out. Let's see, light metal legs, uh, yeah. Just stuff to scrap and learn for mods. All right, let's go back and talk to, oh, wait, is there a, nobody, not doing that. Let's go here. There we go. Um, what happens when we get to seasons? It'll be the same. The queen and bosses are team events though. They're, yeah, they're supposed to be, for sure. There's no real in-game because that was set up for Lone Wolf players. It's not uh, real MMORPG needing. Yeah, I mean, other than the bosses. Well, at events. I mean, events are generally set up to be to be team stuff. That's the idea anyway, except Dale doesn't care. He doesn't care about teams. Yeah, the gun does sound really cool. I mean, I like the reload anime. I like the animations of the gun. I like the sound of the gun. I just don't like the damage of the gun. Like, that's the thing. I think the damage on this should be like double. Considering the slow fire rate and the slow reload, all that. It just, you're, you're punished without the payoff. Can you say something, Mother Lode? What would you like me to say? No season 76? Stash limit is the worst thing? Thanks. Great. Thanks. If they took, I mean, honestly, if they got the script limit under control, I mean, if they got rid of the script limit, that would help a lot with stash space, I think. Queen and bosses are much more balanced for a team, but yeah. <laughs> some yeah, that's true. They they're all soloable. Some events daily ops are very tough solo. Yeah, a lot I mean, the boss events I think are easier to solo than a lot of other events. I mean, I would say the Scorch Beast Queen is much easier than, say, Eviction Notice to solo. So or even like Beasts of Burden, just because all that run around, I think that's a tough one. You have to be really fast and perfect to to solo that one. So Found the weapon plan for the MG42. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, you're back. I've been busy working on the mother Do you get the new engineer armor through quests? It's for the armor plans are through a quest. The mod plans are from the uh, stamp guy. Lovely. I had They're pretty cheap though, except for the jetpack. The jetpack is like 300 stamps, but everything else is pretty cheap. So if you have a decent amount of stamps, you could do it right away. But yeah, it's a new main quest from the from the next update. We'll give you each stage of the quest. We'll get you like you start off by getting arms, then legs, then torso. I do there's a hel I think there's a helmet too. So yeah, you get you get those through stages of the quest. So by the time you're done, you'll get them all. Well, If you can keep the queen from flying away. Well, there's that. That's true. It's not actually broken. Cook these fog crawlers at Longfellow's cabin. There you go. She also I was playing, I was in Far Harbor the other day. I'm not sure. I was playing that. I forgot. Every time I go there, it's always like, I forget how much radiation you get from that. Like, you're just constantly taking radiation in Far Harbor. There we go. So that will, I'm um, off to get those parts. All right. So now let's go to Robco. Or as near Robco as we can get. Is this, uh, are people doing this? Ah, person is doing that. I don't care enough. 
Okay, so Robco, let's see. We haven't been, we haven't been, and the, oh, geez. The only Cranberry Bog locations, because I think this is Savage Divide, so I've been to one Cranberry Bog location. It's pretty sad. I think I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go to this camp, I think, because I'm not close to anything. Um, although, I don't know. I don't like to cheat and do camps, but I'm not going to go. You know what? I'm going to go. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick to it. I like going for a walk. St. Monkey, hello, hello. Be nice if there was a way to transfer your other characters directly through Stash. Yes. I don't think it should be a Fallout First exclusive. I think I think there should be a way to transfer items between characters. Like, to me, that should not be a Fallout First thing. That should be a, a thing that they thought about and implemented is what it should be. Does the armor roll as legendary or non-legendary? You craft it as non-legendary. And then you roll it as... Then it rolls just like regular armor. Yeah, so it's not like Secret Service. It's more like... Com I mean, think of it as combat armor with high radiation resistance. I, I would think of it that way. It kind of functions the same way. And it has a jetpack. So combat armor doesn't have that. So I think in terms of tradable armor, it's going to be the best... Uh, it's going to be the top choice for tradable armor for people. Unless they pull a fast one on us and don't... Uh, and uh, don't make it tradable. Like, that's always possible. But there was never a word. Like, people talked about tradable the whole time what was on the PTS. And so, if they... Uh, this is another one of those invisible wall areas. If they... Jeez, uh, okay, went to 0%. <laughs> okay. This gun sucks. It can't... Okay. It's like it misses over and over again. Over and over again. All right, well, I'll just let it hit me because I have to reload while my AP comes back. There we go. And they didn't even drop anything. There we go. All these ghouls have been conf confined for like 70 years. They should be nuts. So, yes, the gun just works. Yeah, it works, I guess. If this is what it does, I'd fire it. Like, uh... Uh, let's see. It's given me like a million quest markers. I want to go in that general direction. I'll just follow the road, actually, not this road. This road down here, the the one I'm on, right? That's where I want. Yep. The one that goes right by Watoga. There's the Giddy Up Buttercup. Oh, do I have a... Uh, let's check. I don't know if, what maps I have, but let's see if I have this map. Oh, uh, wait. Where is it? Right here. Oh, I have the map. Oh, I have more. I have like, okay. I got a piano plan, a combat shotgun. All right. I remember some of the stuff from the video. <laughs> some, some of it. Uh, oh, there's the, oh, there, there's, oh, just another part. So I'm going to pick up all these giddy up buttercups because I'm going to put down a tent and scrap what I just, come on. There we go. So I always pick them up. They're a good source of stuff and things. There we go. Plop a tent down and get rid of all our stuff. Our totally immersive, realistic uh, tent. Oh, mods, 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 mods. Yes, give me those mods. Eventually, I'll be able to... Uh, yeah, unless they give me another gun that has no mods, like this one. Uh, hey, Mike, welcome. You can move items between alts with Fallout first. Well, sort of. So the way you do it is you open up a private server... And then you find a container in the world, like the red chest at Nuke World. You put the stuff in the container. You leave the server and go back with another character. And hopefully your game doesn't crash. Your internet doesn't go down. The server doesn't crash. Like, you have a few minutes before the server resets itself, but that's how people do it. And you can always just ask a friend to help you as well. That's, that's, a, that's a less risky way. Borderlands did cross-character item transfer well. Slow, but it works. I mean, there should be a way to transfer caps. Like, any, like, there's no way to transfer, really. I mean, there's no way that's built in as a way to transfer stuff. I mean, I think you should be able to transfer caps or transfer repair kits or, yeah, just anything. Can also do this on Public World if you have a friend as a teammate. Yeah. I mean, I've done it before using a friend. You just go to their camp and you drop the stuff for them or they drop it for you and then and then you watch it or even pick it up. And wait for them to switch characters. So that's a, that's a thing. Okay, so dogs. How badly is this going to go? This gun sucks. It just misses everything. 95. There we go. We got a hit. There we go. And we go for the reload. But if he gets closer, maybe I can... Uh... 
Oh, let's do legs. There we go. Jeez. Combat is so much more difficult with this gun. Hey, lyrics. Make sure it's a zero weight container, though. Yeah. Yeah, one of those containers that'll hold infinite, infinite items. Yeah, and don't use the donation boxes. Oof. You just never know what's going to happen with those because that, that, the stuff in there, I, I, I wouldn't trust that. I would not use a donation box for that. Use an empty container. Yeah, you just have to be able to get back on the same server. Yeah. They changed the horses. There we go. Making use of them critical hits. Without critical hits is going to be impossible. There's stuff you can't transfer. See yeah, I mean, it's only you can only transfer tradable things. So it's there's not a way to transfer non-tradable things. And that's, I mean, I, I don't think there should be non-tradable things. So that's, that's a whole other thing. So somebody something, what gun am I using? It is, this is the gun I'm using. It is a junkie single action revolver. I have no addiction, so that's not helping me. I have damage while aiming. I'm using VAT, so that's not helping. And faster movement speed while aiming, and I'm using VAT, so that's not helping. So basically, I'm using a non-legendary. Um, it's basically non-legendary, honestly, so, is what it is. A non-legendary single action revolver. More dogs. All right. Oh, is that a... Yeah, that's still a dog. Found that sometimes like Vats gets into a little a little funk, and uh, if the first shot misses, it's better just to leave Vats and go back into Vats. Make it work better. Oh, don't need to blow them up to get them out of the trailer. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you had to do that. Like when I was when I did the the map video, they were uh, or the treasure yeah the treasure map video. They were on the on the road back there, so I didn't realize that was a thing. Getting addicted should be fairly easy. Yeah, I just don't have the stuff. I don't have enough stuff to do. I've got like, what do I have? Like, I probably have enough psycho to get addicted, but I don't have any inert flux. I don't want that. Uh, That's just like water. All right, let's just do a bunch of this stuff and drop the rest. I don't need that. Uh, Let's do, do I have any food? Canned meat stew. There we go. Perfect bubble gum. Oh, perfect bubble gum. Perfect bubble gum. <laughs> Ten time is the charm. Jeez. I did all this planning and so far today has not gone according. I mean, being prepared was not all that useful. Are these people on the front? Oh, these are people. Scientists, scientists. I don't think I've seen this uh, particular thing before. Let's see. Let's look for drugs, though. Since though, there's nothing in here. What's in here? 44 rounds. Um, there's nothing here. All right. There's nothing here. Onward and upward. Feel better about your own? Yes, that's the thing. Your gun is a dog. My gun is a dog. My luck is doing the usual. Today, yes, my luck has not been, I mean, the yeah, the purveyor was not a lucky, uh, it was not a lucky stop for me today at all. Because the other gun I got was this one. Vampire's Gatling Plasma with last round and reduce weight. Unfortunately, I don't have any perks to make this do more damage, so, and I hate spin up weapons. So, if I had it to do over again, my second weapon pull would have been a melee weapon, but did it wrong. Game is a fat squirrel called Wait or Wait. Uh, let's see here. Does the Wendigo Colossus spawn outside the world besides this event? It can in a nuke zone. So, if, like, this area is nuked over here, it could actually has a chance to spawn in the Sundew Grove over here. If it's in the nuke zone. So it has a chance. It has a chance to spawn in nuke zones. Not a high chance, but a chance. Fog crawlers are big. Look at those. From that far away, they're big. I'm just running around, though. I don't want to fight a fog crawler. That would take me all day to kill. If you can find a weapon with weapon damage as health decreases plus AP regen, you'll be good. Yeah, but I can't. I mean, I can only use this weapon. I can only use what I got from the purveyor at the beginning of the stream. That's all I can use for the whole stream. So it doesn't matter what I find if I, because like lots of things, I mean, that Berserkers one that I found was better. I mean, Berserkers wouldn't help, but the uh, faster, actually Berserkers would be okay since I'm only wearing three pieces of armor, but faster, it had faster reload on it at least. So, uh, let's see. Notice a lot more invisible barriers. Yes, I have two TDM, a lot more, a lot more. And I don't understand it. 
But it's like, yeah, there's a lot of invisible walls where it's just, yep, vats doesn't work. Vats won't lock on. I've noticed that as well. It's really annoying. It's like they, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, let's see here. Undead Silver, hello, hello. Well, we made it here, so I need a uh, Robo Brain and Ibot. Ibot should be easy. Robo Brain, ugh, they're they're pretty tough, but I do have a Troubleshooter's piece, so that'll be something. It'll be something. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Let's see. So, don't really need to go over there. Yeah, too bad the iBot's hanging out with other stuff. Robco. Yeah, definitely I'm not going into Robco today. I don't think that's gonna I don't I definitely don't want to do that quest. Let's see, there's an iBot. Combat inhibitor with a critical hit. That wasn't enough to cripple it. Darn it. Alright, let's see here. We've got uh Almost enough. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Glad I wasn't too close there, although I do have fireproof. Now, is that it? Seems like there should be another, uh, another one of those guys. I was gonna say Collectron, but that's not the right thing. All right, let's go find a Robo Brain and try not to die. Robo Brains are pretty tough if you're weak, and my character is weak. Go to White Spring, go into around. There's legendary ghouls or Freddy's fight his name. There's legendary, but yeah, but I can't. I'm not allowed. I'm only allowed to use. I go to the purveyor at the beginning of the stream, and I'm only allowed to use those weapons. So it doesn't matter what else I find. The game server side has rougher terrain objects, so that's why your vats may not always line up. But it seems like there's a lot of, uh, like there's a lot of just invisible walls that weren't there before, where vats won't even lock on. That I've known. I mean, I've been noticing that lately as well. Wish they'd let us use Stim right away, etc. While in Vats, make it cost Vats or something, but a pain when in Vats to pop. Oh yeah. Um. Hello. I don't know where the weak spot is on a Robo. On a Robo. Oh jeez. Okay. How about this? That didn't do much. I think it went really far is a problem. Wait. Come on. At least I won't die. <laughs> How about that? At least I won't die. There we go. I forgot I had this, but yeah, this is a perfect, uh, perfect situation here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go back to Penny. I made it work. Perfect, perfect use for it. Wish they, let's see. So some, some said once they promised us at least 76 seasons, if no one else remembers that we are all wondering if it will change or not. I don't understand. Wouldn't it be their head for the brain? Maybe. I mean, that would make sense. Server has definitely been going for a while. Enemies decide to die while they run out of health. Secondly, yeah, it's, uh, the server seemed fresh when I got to it, but uh, unfortunately you have no way to know, right? When you go to a server, if you don't see nukes and all the silos are open, it's hard to know if the server's fresh or not. So I don't go by what they promise. Like I don't, I don't pay attention to that. I only care about what they're actually doing, what, what's been done. Cause there's too much, cause part of it is like some of the stuff that was promised is by people that aren't even there anymore. So. I'll yeah, I, parts, if you don't mind. I I don't worry about they promised us this, they promised us that. It, it doesn't matter. All that matters is what they give us. So worry about checking back in right away. Best option is to go play adventure. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Play adventure or go play uh, private. <laughs> That's that. Then you know you're getting something fresh. Although I don't know, I've been on private servers before that didn't didn't feel fresh. They didn't act fresh. Okay, so let's go talk to Mr. Page. I can get a, well, let's see. No, a stealth suit counts as armor. I was going to say, I could do a stealth suit, uh, but that counts as armor, so no. I can't use armor and weapons that aren't legendary, except grenades, obviously. 
You've secured our way. All right, give me some rap. That's what I'm looking for. Don't be mad. All right. I figure we got some Heart of the Swamp. All right. Honestly, she said she Anyway. All right, so this is going to give me some rap. How much rap? A bit, but not quite enough. Yeah, I probably need to go all the way down the quest line, which I don't think I want to go into Robco with this loadout. Not that I think I'll make it there today, but how am I doing on plans anyway? Oh, I already knew a piano plan. How about that? Light metal legs. All right, are people doing this? It doesn't feel like it. This feels like the server's like eviction notice killed. Uh, that's it. Eviction notice. That's uh, all people are doing today. I did. I like Jen. I think she's a fun character. Even though the part of this quest when you have to wait for her and Penny to finish talking is kind of annoying because it takes a really long time. And there's no way for you to speed it up. Are you? We need. Hear that? Just wondered. Oh. All right. I don't tend to. If they, if it's not something they say specifically, it's coming like with this update or. Yeah, because there's lots of things in the past that have been said, like they're going to bring mod support, which I don't think is ever going to happen. He's held this group together. We're going to get pets. I don't think that's ever going to happen. So it's at, at this point in the game, unless unless they say it's come, unless they put it in like the patch notes, <laughs> I don't, uh, I just don't worry about it. No events. Oh, there's events. It's just everyone kind of burned out on eviction notice and, and everything else is just kind of, yeah, people just start doing. That'll happen though, right? I mean, especially now, the, uh, I think everyone got burned out by Foshnot, so. Uh, what are we doing? What does she want me to do? So the fact that there's anybody here at all, let's see, we want, oh, you know, Bureau of Tourism, that's what I want. Okay, I think that's, after I do this, Invisible Ties, I think I'll do Bureau of Tourism. That's one I like to do, so because I don't really want to go into Robco with that other guy with with what I have at the moment. So I need a liberator. So this is a good place for a liberator, right? Yeah, kill kill a liberator. I want to make sure I do the right thing. Bethesda should go into politics. Lots of campaign promises. <laughs> yes, something like that. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it's. I think they've learned. That's why that's why they hardly tell us anything anymore. They've learned not to not to promise anything at all unless they're actively working on it and they plan it's going to definitely be implemented. So uh I think that's kind of where we are in the game. So at this point, unless they say this is what's coming next and well, that's okay if it's dead. I should be able to still collect it. So dead liberator's fine. Yep, there we go. That was easy peasy. But unless they say, okay, this is what we're working on for the next update and it's on the PTS and whatever, I don't really consider it. Although they did say they're giving us new map space and that is uh, obviously not, you know, not there yet. But now that now at this point, I think they've reached a stage where if they say they're giving us something, you can trust it and don't worry about anything in the past. Just worry about like the current promises because I think they've learned don't don't uh, promise anything that isn't uh, isn't definitely going to happen. Thanks again for lending a hand. Oh, you're quite welcome. Come on, trying. Trying. I'm trying to put it here. Where's the hitbox? There it is. It's in a weird, yeah, weird hitbox. All right, now we have this really, really long. Uh, this is a smoke him if you got him situation. Actually, I was gonna say if that event was going, I could go to that event and do it and come back before this is done. Look for an entry that begins. No one knows if they have a job. Yeah, that's true. If they'll have a job tomorrow. Backing off on new map space would be bad. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they would have said it unless it was a definite thing. And I don't honestly anything they say unless I wouldn't. I would assume anything they say at this point is definite because they've learned in the past that some stuff they say they're going to do and they just can't or don't have the resources or whatever. I agree, Jules. I think that was weird. And the you know the thing I liked about her, especially for the patch notes, like whenever they do an update. She put out the patch notes right after the server went down for maintenance. So you could actually look at them while the server's down. Now, whoever's doing it now, they put it up after things come back online. It's like, okay, you've been off for how the, how long? It's like, we could have been looking at the patch notes while the server's offline, give us something to do. And yeah, so whoever they have in charge is not doing as good a job. Uh, it is uh, the 26th of March, Brian. Right away on Reddit too. Oh, okay. So it's just, 
Well, and then with the last patch notes, right? We had that thing with the uh, Furious, where it said, oh, Furious is going to scale to 90%, which ended up being an error. And instead of telling us, oh, this was, a, this was an error and putting out an addendum, all they did was go back and edit the notes that were already there and, and didn't tell anybody. So there was a lot of people that are thinking, oh, Furious is buffed and whatever, and it isn't. But they never, they never made an announcement. I guarantee Devin would have done that. She would have said this was an error and would have and would have put out an, an amended thing instead of going back and just altering what was already in place and saying nothing. So to me, it's like they, they got rid of someone who was doing a good job and they replaced her with someone who isn't doing as good a job. So that's because uh, that's not how you communicate. You don't go back and go, we screwed this up. We're going to go fix all what we what we I mean, it's one thing to fix a typo, but that's not what they did. They fixed. I mean, what was stated was actually wrong. And they were, I mean, it was completely wrong. And, and there was people days later saying, you know, how come it's not showing Furious at 90%? It's still showing 45. Why is it showing 45? Because they they changed it. That was an error and they didn't tell us. They just went back and re-edited the patch notes. I never would have known. I wouldn't have, I didn't go back and look at them. I only know because I saw someone post on Discord that that was, that, that someone did that. So, and she looked in the yeah, and she looked into the camera. And although I got to say those dev those que dev questions are always kind of cringy, even when she was doing them. But yeah, at least yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think she just did a better job with the patch notes, with that kind of thing, and with announcements. She just did a better job than what's going on now. The person who's doing it now is not doing a good job. I I apologize if you're watching, but yeah, Devin did a good job, and I don't understand why they got rid of her. Well, it, it makes no I sense. Feel like so. We're actually Patch notes for the patch notes. Well, that happens sometimes. I mean, there were cases in the past where patch notes had come out and they would either have something missing or they would have something stated incorrectly and they would just put out a new thing. They would put out an announcement saying it should have said this, it should have said this. They didn't go back and just edit what was in place and say nothing. Like, that's a shitty way to do things. So, anyway. All right. Sounds like a plan. There we go. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. This will be me. Uh, let's see. Go to the seventh hole. Uh, let's see. I haven't been. Uh, I haven't been to the golf course, so a little bit of a walk. That was a fun little filter I put on that, trying to get that kind of a horror look. It's kind of sunny though. I think I tried black and white. It didn't really look. It was hard to tell what was going on. This is a long loading screen. All right, so we want to go over to ooh, where is the golf course? Over this. Oh, over this way. Spin around. There is a death claw over there. I don't really want to fight a death claw. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go fight a death claw. I could try and sneak past it, but uh... yeah, this is not a lot of. Uh... And I've staggered. Now I got to spin up again, which is why I don't shell shock. Which is, I think, uh... I think that's AP something or other. There we go. What is what is shell shock? I think that's an AP thing. Action point drain. We don't want that. So let's use a disease cure. There we go. What? Okay. So no tight, no black titanium. Oh, that was a ripoff. I feel like I was cheated just now. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb. I wasted a disease cure. Disease cure is right here. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, silver wa water fountain. If you drink out of it, it'll cure diseases. I, I that was so dumb. <laughs> okay. 7 a.m. here, need coffee. Who wants to make me? Oh, 7 a.m. Well, it's uh, 3 3 p.m. here. Oof. Yep. That was a waste. Really wish Fallout had races so you can be a ghoul. I, yo, know, be a ghoul, be a super mutant. I, I think, yeah. I think it's kind of weird that we don't have that option. A ghoul at least. I mean, super mutant, maybe not, but a ghoul, it, it would make a lot of sense to be able to be a ghoul. I mean, we have the, and that's going to, I think that's going to confuse people, right? So you're going to have the Fallout TV show come out. It is going to draw new people to the game. Some of those people who, who've never played Fallout before are going to go, oh, I want to play as a ghoul because there's a ghoul main character in the show. And they're probably going to be confused. Why can't I play as a ghoul? Why can't my character be a ghoul? That's a thing. Human or synth. Yeah, although synth is more of a Fallout 76 thing. I mean, a Fallout, sorry, Fallout 4 thing. And, I, I mean, and it was mentioned in 3. So like, what's Fallout 4? Like, what was the thing? I mean, that was the thing. So the main, the main, you know, villain or whatever was hinted at in Fallout 3, the main villain for Fallout 4. So 
was the main villain for Fallout 5, hinted at in Fallout 4. Do you see Fallout New Vegas and 4 are getting updates? Uh, what kind of updates? Like on Steam or something? Or, I mean, Fallout 4 is supposed to be getting a next-gen update, but I haven't seen... I haven't seen it announced yet. Like, w like when? Totally playing one of your 76 characters as a ghoul, and you will not be told you can't. Yeah, I mean, they have the ghoul mask, right? That you can wear. And you can just wear, like, you know, like, shamble clothes or whatever. Only time you can actually play as a ghoul is in Brotherhood of Steel Tat. Yes! And and that's another thing that's funny about that, right? Like you're a, you are a brotherhood. I mean, you're you're a brotherhood of steel character and a ghoul, which totally goes against that conflict somewhere, for sure. Um, it's right here somewhere. Here we go. Maybe the deep bug fixes. There's some activity on the Steam beta. Oh, for those games. Well, follow New Vegas. That's interesting. I mean, because New Vegas, there's like. That's actually interesting, because New Vegas is like, yeah. I can't imagine what updates would be coming on that game. Okay, how are we doing on our, uh, oh, let's do uh, this. Company T. There we go. All right. Because we need our AP regen, because we are going to do what? We are going to be sprinters. Villain of Fallout 5 is Phil Swift. He kills his foes with flex tape. No. <laughs> Prepare the game for the TV show. Could be. Could be. Um... I mean, New Vegas, I mean, not New Vegas, 4. I'd expect 4 to be, I'm expecting the next gen update. They're going to announce it. This is my, this is my prediction. The first episode, like at the beginning of the first episode, right before it starts, it's going to have an announcement for the, um, the next gen update for Fallout 4, and it'll be available to download immediately. That, that's my prediction for that. We'll see. We'll see. I hope I'm right. Probably won't be, but that's my, I, I got to put it out there. Don't. So everyone can tell me how what a genius I am when I'm right. I don't want any. <laughs> yeah. Won't worry about what happens when I'm wrong. I'm wrong about stuff all the time, so whatever. All right, now we gotta wait for Jen. Hey, there you are. I'm here. I caught up. Ma. Fault London. Um. Yeah, Fault London. It actually comes out later in April, I think. Kind of towards the end. And that's also my prediction. So the next gen update will will, meet, will break Fallout London. That's that's also my update. The download won't work sometime. Yeah, maybe. Hey Dan, welcome. I needed a suit, but I buried Dad. It would be smart. I mean, Jules, that would be the smart thing, right? Like if they're gonna do it, that would be the smartest thing to do. Would be to have it because that's gonna be maximum hype, and the way for them to actually sell more copies. I mean, they said the next gen update will be free. But only for people who already own the game. For people who are new to the game, it'll be like, wow, I got this next gen update. This game looks cool. It looks just like the TV show. This this show's cool. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Show's cool, so I want to buy this. So we'll see. Yeah, Fallout Shelter was exact. I mean, that was how Fallout Shelter was. It was it was when they announced Fallout 4, the date or the date for it at the uh E3, they had uh, Fallout Shelter update immediately. I think only on Apple, but still it was still updated or available immediately. I would expect it to be the same kind of thing. What's happening? I was Hope they do a short training episode, episode explaining the Fallout world to new people. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure the show will be built so that people who don't know Fallout will understand. I mean, it's what's to understand, right? I mean, Fallout is. She really just wants. The world ended. It's two hundred and something years later, and we're in Fallout shelters. And uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be. I don't think people are going to be confused. Even people who have never played the game. I can help you. So it's a pretty easy, it's a fairly easy concept, I think. Maybe not all the ins and outs, but, uh, I mean, but, but getting the whole thing of like, this is what, what the future in the fifties look, you know, if you were in the fifties, this is what the future would have looked like as imagined by the fifties. Like that's, that's the kind of thing to kind of, to get. Don't doubt the show will start with cinematic similar to the game. War War. Yeah, that would be kind of cool too. Hopefully they have that. We'll see. We'll see if they have the war never changes thing. Oh, what do we have here? We got people doing stuff. Oh, I'm going to help just because I want to pick up this event or this uh, location. So I'm going to help with that. Tyler was heavy with people telling the vault dweller they probably won't survive up here. Well, and that's realistic, right? Cryopods, dreams. Well, 76 is. It is a simulation. That's why the that's why lore doesn't matter in this game and consistency doesn't matter. It's a simulation. All right, I picked up a location. Uh, are we fighting stuff? Oh, the next wave. I don't know what we're fighting, but I'm count me in. 
It's something. Oh, oh, crickets. No, not crickets. <laughs> not crickets. Not crickets. Ah, run right away. <laughs> not crickets. I never signed up for crickets. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. It would be awesome if Ron Perlman did. I agree. I think it would be great. Whether it happens or not, who knows? And I got this, because that makes sense. That we got a cricket. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We got a cricket uh, carrying a uh, piece of power armor. Let's just get all this acid. Because I'm doing all this crap. I'm ready. Like, I'm ready. If I need to craft anything, I am, I am uh, stocking up on whatever. Oh, see, he's got the evil Knievel. He's got the outfit for evil Knievel. All I have is his armor. Since they basically confirm this is all a simulation, I hope they go that shit and add in synths and stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, for the TV show, no. I mean, they're not. I, I don't think the TV show is a simulation, uh, but I think, I think this is. I mean, that that's what I tell myself is that because it makes sense. So we'll see. Yeah, I know, Jules. I get it wrong every time. <laughs> I get it wrong. Sorry, Spoonie. Sorry, sorry. I always get that wrong, too. I call I call the Scorch Beast Queen a he. So that's just, you know, I'm bad that way. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pronoun disadvantaged. All right. We defended the mine, and I picked up a location. That was my main motivation, actually. If I ever do the uh, Sheep Squatch quest, which I don't know if I will. But, uh, let's see what I get. Anything? Stip pack, baseball, eh, nothing. Nothing amazing. Okay. Actually, do they own this workshop? Oh, they do. All right. Let's do that. You can build, if you didn't know that, you can build in your teammates' workshops. There we go. <laughs> let's do a stash box, too, since I want to uh, store this power armor piece. And might as well do this, too. There we go. Ammo and... Uh, uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, armor. Ultra, oh, I have that to scrap. Oh, and it looks like I've got uh, ore. What'd I get that from? Oh, that would have been from the mother load, was the ore. It has weight, I don't want it. Legendary cores, those are gonna go unused. Forever. Alright, let's go talk to, uh... Miss Jen and Penelope. Nothing makes sense in 76, it's a messy lower squirrel. Yeah! Plus, it's just easier to, I mean, with everyone with their silly um, marsupial and all that, it just makes sense just to say, you know what? This is just an all. We're all just in cryopods, and that way everything makes sense. Hey, I got the suit. Looks like we're good to go. Howard, explain to your parents why Fallout show looks so good. 15 times the detail. Sounds good. All right, so I did that, and let's go talk to Mr. Page, and then let's head north. That's not Paige. I, see you found a way to get into the vault. I did. Okay, wait a minute. Paige just teleported. Come on, quit doing that. See, that would only happen. That's a glitch in the matrix. So that that works. Found it odd you could activate a teammate's camp build menu even though you can't build in it. Must be just cross coding, probably. But there's a lot. You can't, but you can, Vitticus. If you're on a on a, on a private team, you can build in a teammate's te uh, camp. It's just in a, a public team. A public team, you can't. All right. So you can build things. I think anything but atomic shop stuff. I think you can build. Because I know someone built a. I a long time ago, someone built a. Uh, a what is it? A symptomatic in my in uh, one of my camps. It's been five minutes. Tons of loading screen. Time to enter the burrows. Broke your game. Uh oh. Oh, tried to. Oh, the burrows broke your game. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Notes. Uh, we've got. Baseball player statue and stealth armor, but that's an armor, so I can't use it. Uh, let's go here and scrap stuff. Can in a sh in one shelter? Oh, okay. Even on public, like in a shelter, you can build on a public team. I didn't know that. I mean, I barely build in my own camp, so I, there's like no chance I'm going to build in a teammate's camp. I wouldn't say no chance. I would say a small chance. Okay, let's... Uh... That dude has ripped, man. <laughs> this, this guy's been... This guy's been hitting the gym. Man, check out those arms. Wow. Okay, let's go. Let's see, how far north have I been? I think just here. All right, let's go do... Um... 
Yeah, Bureau of Tourism. Is Stealth Suit under Armor tab or it's, ar it's Armor? Because it gives you resistance, so it's under the Armor tab. If it was apparel, I would use it, but it's not. Built your camp close to Vault 76 and put tons of stuff to peer pressure new players to join the Mothman cult. How's that working? Uh, wait, what came up? Oh, spin the wheel. All right, let's, I like spin the wheel. See if I can get people to do that. Come on, give me a, ah, okay. <laughs> That's not, is there a camp right here? There must be a camp right here. Somewhere, no? There we go. Oh, is there a camp? I guess there's a camp right here, but it's not on the map. All right, let's see if I can uh, trick people into doing this. One with fish in it. Oh, the shelter with fish in it? Okay. Interesting. That's weird. Just like one shelter is... Huh. I mean, I, I think that's a good thing. Like, I don't necessarily want people on public... You know, random people who join my public team to be able to build in my server. Like that... Or on my in my camp. That would be... That'd be awful. <laughs> so I'm glad that's not a thing. Other day, someone was moth dancing next to your shrine floor. Oh, cool. Fun. All right, there we go. There's uh, two of us so far. There's Rusty Shackleford. I guess we're doing this. All right, Um, right, let's see. What do I want to use? I'll, I'll bring out the big gun. Why not? Get my use out of this while, uh, while I can. Coffee? Get out of bed. All right. Oh yeah, and the different colors different things. That's right. There's Will. Oh no. I like that. I like that. Whatever. I like the look he's got going on there. I like it. I like the look. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to get? Something. Uh, what do we do? Uh, push the button. I think he's having trouble. He's probably playing in third person. That button is hard to push in third. Everything is hard to interact with in third person. Streamlabs. Back to back Streamlabs. Anglers and Mr. Gutsies. All right. Give me. Uh, here we go. I got your medicine right here. May not kill you, but it's vampire, so you are not gonna kill me. Yeah, this is the kind of thing to have vampire. There we go. All right. Ooh, I got it right to zero as well, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'll, I'll get there in an hour when I'm done reloading. Let's see. Let's zoom out a little more. We're so zoomed in. Oh, there we go. Boom. This game's easy. Oh, there's a, there's a gutsy somewhere. Oh, and an angler. I don't know if they're unlikely friends or if they were fighting. Not quite sure. There we go. Do we win? Yes, we did. Perfect. Yoshi's dad. Is that like Yoshi from the Mario Kart game? The little turtle. Yoshi's like the turtle, right? Little turtle. Probably not that Yoshi, I'm thinking. Probably maybe their kid is actually named Yoshi. I like Power Fist. That's a good weapon. There's so many good melee weapons. I mean, if you like variety of weapons in this game, melee is, is much better than... Uh, Oh, time to keep moving. All right. Melee is much better than ranged in terms of variety of weapons. There's just so many fun ones to choose from. Nuke World makes your ears want to go on tour. Yeah. I agree with that. Overall, I can't say I was disappointed by Nuke World because it was pretty much what I, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would have long-term appeal. When they first announced it, I, I mean, I was disappointed because when they first announced it, I had in my head like Nuke World from Fallout 4. Think we were gonna get some cool, you know, something, and not, you know, what we what what we ended up with was. I mean, it's just kind of this lifeless place, right? I mean, they have these NPCs over here, just a few of them. They don't do anything except talk and be really annoying. 
But other than that, they should have NPC, like have random NPC tourists in here. That would be good. So if you came in and just had like random wanderers in here doing the, uh, I'm, I'm looking, but I'm not seeing. There we go. Um, just random NPCs in here doing stuff. That would be some of them playing the carnival games. That would be a good thing. That would make the, that would make it feel a little more alive. Boss is cool, but you hate how it spawns. I don't like the boss. I think it's the worst, worst. I think it's one of the worst events in the game. It's definitely the worst boss event. Yes, it, you're not going to melt it instantly, but other than that, that's like the only thing. I mean, when the only thing it has good for it is you can't kill it too quickly. That's not enough, right? Hey, Zimara. If you don't expect anything, it still disappoints. Something like that. Guildmaster, hello, hello. Everyone kill the random. Well, they might. Unless they made them NPCs like... I mean, if they made them NPCs like in... Um, in Crater or Foundation, you can't kill them. So you can just make them like that and make them... Or make them immortal so people would kill them and they down them and they'd still... Uh, All those shots, and I couldn't kill a ghoul. It'd just be something, you know, just to make it feel like it's alive. Give it some life. Nuke World is like a traveling fun fair the day after a fatal accident. Yeah, something. I mean, it is. It's like a, a traveling fair, like the day after when they decide they're leaving town. Um. Oh, Cappy Hunt. Okay. I know where this one is. This is the one I know. I know. Okay. I thought I got it. I, isn't there one inside the uh, one of these trailers? Something like that. Like it isn't, doesn't one spawn in here? Oh, there's a bear trap. How tricky. Let's get, take the ammo. I might get a 50 cal. A 50 cal be okay. I would not mind having a 50 cal as my gun. I got the one I know. Uh, We only got five. I like how we fail. It says failed and it says nuke a nice job. Good job. You failed. Don't want to be chewing ice into the microphone. Feels like a circus that is set up for the weekend or something. I don't know. I mean, it feels like it's in between. Uh, where are we? I guess. Where's the boss? Oh, there it is. Come on. Jeez. It's like you get staggered. It takes you, you know, forever just to get uh, start shooting again. I think that's it, right? We won? 100 caps. I could actually do okay with Aristocrat's gear. I'd get probably half bonus or so. Nuka Cola balloons. Let's just take all this stuff. Good job, everybody. Take all of this stuff. Not that much. All right. All right, all right. And, of course, you get a Whacker Smacker, which is a very good melee weapon, by the way. If you've never used a Whacker Smacker, it's actually really good. Scrap all the Stingwing Barbs. I don't think I'll be doing the uh, Tadpole quest this time around. Uh, let's see. What did I get? Did I get anything else? I think it was just the one thing. Yeah, Whacker Smacker would be so much better. I would trade to that in a heartbeat. If such things were allowed. Good job you failed, slogan at Bethesda Game Studios. That's pretty, pretty, that is pretty rough. I agree, Drinks. That is pretty harsh, but that's what she specializes in. Tough medicine, right? Angler meat, yeah, we're not doing that. Fried scorpion on stick, sure, why not? Um, da, 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 da. I don't need rat away or rat X. Or rat roach meat, or that. Or that. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I have a feeling my addiction's not going to happen today, but that's okay. Um, da, 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 cause I'm not going to need, let's see, do we have notes? Uh, let's see, we'll just drop those. And where was that agility food? Let's sort by spoil. All right, how are we doing on food? So company T, we've got time. We'll do agility there. We don't need spoiled meat. And I think we're good. All right, back to my uh, trailer. Or my tent, rather. Next to it, now monetize your mistake. Well, they did have that in that last, uh, the whatever, the last video they put out. They had the, the chief monetization officer. You would think they would come up with another name. I mean, if you're going to have them ever, ever be introduced to the public, 
Probably don't call them that. Call them something. <laughs> call them something else. You know. You broke it. Make them pay for it. Yes. Speaking of failed, Starfield. How has the last few updates have been mostly graphical improvements? I don't know. I haven't played Starfield since uh, it's been almost three months since the last time I played Starfield. So I'll get back to it. I'm running the wrong way. Let's make this quest active. Uh, Bureau of Tourism right here. Oh, tune into the radio. I mean, probably when the next DLC comes or when the when the DLC comes out, I'll play it. But until then, I have not had any urge to play it at all. There's just too many, yeah, I have too many issues with it. Improvements are great and noticeable. Okay. I mean, I've heard that it looks, like in terms of visually, it looks much better. But in terms of mechanics, they just haven't done, they haven't done enough to get me to, to want to play it again. So, although I did see a quest, I've been watch, watching many of True Nerds play through, and he actually ran into a quest that I hadn't seen before. And I'm like, oh, that looks kind of interesting and creepy and whatever. But up until now, everything he's been doing, it's like, I've seen that. I've seen it. And it's not like I have a ton of game uh, time in the game, like 200 hours is all, but. Graphics are nice, but the gameplay is issue. Yes. Rolled in glitter. Yeah, I had one one where I got stuck on a quest where it wouldn't. Uh, I think they fixed that in this last patch. Because there was a situation where I would where you when you start the uh, the pirate quest line with UC Sysdef and you have to go meet the uh, uh, what's her name? Can't think of her name. Um, but you have to go meet her over in the soul system. And I had a situation where her, I couldn't hail her ship. I could target it, but I couldn't hail her ship. So I basically couldn't, com couldn't, uh, progress the quest. And I had posted it in the Bethesda discord, but that's like just, you know, peeing into the wind. Nothing happens there. Uh, come on. I'm just trying to pick up this location. I'm waiting. There we go. Yeah, I ended up, I was doing a playthrough. I was going to do a pirate playthrough. I ended up just abandoning the character because I couldn't, I couldn't do the pirate quest. It just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't progress. So, which is a really frustrating thing, especially when you post it. You don't even get an acknowledgement from them of like, yes, we, we acknowledge this bug. Just nothing. I just post it and nothing happens. Protest march. No. Nope, nope, nope. Has anyone told you you look like Mr. Sark? Uh, no, I don't know who that is. You are the first person. Congratulations. Who is Mr. Sark? Uh, yeah, there's no super mutants in here. So we are going, we are a combat avoidance mode is where we are. What level? Oh, rank 94. Let's see where am I? I might get up to 95 depending on what events we get today, but uh, not going to get you much more than that. Not a lot of levels today. He used to be on... Makanima? It's crazy how much you both resemble each other. All right. I don't know what Makanima is, so <laughs> I haven't heard of that either. So there you go. I don't know anything at all. I know Fallout 76. That's that's all I know. I am I'm a one-dimensional hologram. All right, her, that, that, that. Um, we'll take all of this. I'll leave everything else. Okay, holotape. We are in Grafton. All right, let's get out of Grafton and uh, sneak through. Yeah, geez, I'm not getting the drugs. I'm not getting the addiction drugs. I'm getting stim packs and where am I? There we go. I'm getting stim packs and right away and stuff like that. Oh, he's on Twitch. There we go. I killed a thing. Now we have the re- uh oh, this, this could have gone better. This could, this could have gone much better. Okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, I wanted a nice, quiet time. There we go. I got a hit on something. And not so much. Welcome to the reload simulator. Yeah, this is so this is if you want to know what having if you just crafted a single action revolver and didn't roll it legendary, this is actually what you would get. Is there one over there? No. There we go. Critical hits. 
Nice guild. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, let's get uh, let's get the heck out of here. Run away, forest. Run, run, run. It's like even with, even with a good build, this weapon just makes combat really tedious. Is what's is what's happening. Very tedious. Now, if it was a good combination of effects, it would be a lot better. Like if it was, say, anti-armor with uh, Vat's hit chance, faster reload, that would make a mountain of difference. Even uh, Gunther's Big Iron would be a big improvement over this because it has a crazy fast reload. Oh, look at that. I got a new mod for a weapon I'll probably never see. There you go. All right, let's go down. I just did this quest yesterday. I think I just did this yesterday. Different character. Guild picked up a weapon. You short... Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. I made it. All right. I got to live up to my stuntman paint. I mean, I guess that's what it's called, right? Stuntman paint, so... Got to live up to that. Yeah, this is the place. For mutated ferns, if you are if you do... Uh, what is it? Um... Is it the Melon Blossom Chai and you need mutated ferns? This is where you come, this hill. Just uh, fast travel actually down the road to the house over here. But yeah, basically this whole hill up here all the way over to the shooting range is just covered in mutated ferns. Ooh, let's see about the, uh, see if I have the plan, if I have the map for the thing here. Where's the, let's see. There's that. Uh, where is the mound? There it is. Oh, I actually have one. Cool. I ran through that a few times. I remember it was, I retained some knowledge. How about that? Retain knowledge. I got a missile launcher, combat armor chest, plan, raider, motion assist, eh, nothing amazing, and dog food. So there's that. Mutated Ferns also strong in the bog, too. Oh, okay. Joel's left. Thanks for playing. Nuke Wavy Willards, heaps of Violet Flux. I don't ever farm Flux. I don't use it much, so I get what I need from... Oh, he's doing an expo. Yeah, if you want to do an expo with a couple of pros, that would be the team to join. Oh, a Gauss Rifle. Let's learn a mod. If I ever get a Gauss Rifle again... I don't know if I learned anything there, but... There's that. All right, let's go pick up some bottles. <clears throat> expo for the people. Easy script. Easy stamps. Yeah, if you're interested in the new mod, the new, uh, the new armor, that's how you get the mods for it is with stamp plans. So there's that. Pick up a couple. There's four. I think that's four. So get me to seven. No, eight. And we just need two more. Uno, dos. All right, perfect. I'm a big hero. Let's go just dump this. Since I've got a tent right here, let's just dump this before we go over to Wavy Willards. That is right. Ah, okay. Rubber banding. Always shocks me. It shouldn't. I mean, it should be something I'm expecting, but... Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any reason to check the plans. There's really not. Like, no, there's, like knowing these plans doesn't really help me since crafting stuff isn't a thing for me. Stuntman or stunman. Yeah, it depends. It depends. I have a, it's like a, a state, like a binary state. I'm either stunt, stunt or stunted. Maybe I'm stunted. How about that? I'm either doing stunts, I'm either stunted or I'm stunned. One of those three things. So not binary, I take it back. There's a boat, there's some rads. I do like not having to worry about rads. For me, if I'm playing full health, what rads is just so nice. It's such a nice quality of, it's my favorite legendary perk. There's a random raider that gives you modded rifle when you give him bobby pins? Really? I've never I've never encountered that before. <clears throat> trinary, exactly. I'm a trinary. Not to be confused with uh aviary. That's aviary's for the birds. <clears throat> There's a park by my house that has an aviary, and I always think, where do they get the birds from? Because keeping birds in cages, not so cool. I mean, even if they're in, like, a big habitat, they're basically still in just, like, a big cage. Just not a fan of keeping birds that way. They should, you know, they have wings for a reason. All right. We are doing much better against Scorch that have, like, uh, 
That's right. Ooh, three shots, three kills. That is the first time that's happened. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we'll get some good drugs. Or not. No good drugs. But we're looting. We're looting. We're going to pick this really hard lock. Avery is a great bar in Chicago. Oh, okay. Cool. I assume they don't serve birds. The only birds they serve are chicken wings. Is that it? Oh, safe and sound. I like safe and sound. Oh, trapper. Yeah, scrap that for mods. All right, I'm going to run in and do this one, and then I'm going to join safe and sound. I'll spin this. Uh, I'll turn the little lever, and... Uh, There we go. All right. How am I still in danger? There's only three Scorched here as far as I know in this little area. <clears throat> but there's other Scorched around. Apparently, I was wrong. There's four. Picking up mods like crazy. Need to check your Discord locked you out for some reason. Uh-oh. That's not a good thing. Think of Discord locked me out. My Although right now, it's kind of a quiet place to be. The game is uh, the game is in a quiet place at the moment, so any Discord I'm on isn't doing a whole lot of a whole lot. All right, let's see. Are people doing this? Is it just me? I'm not. I'm not gonna solo this, but uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Protect the pit stop. Yeah, I'm gonna need assistance on this one. If nothing else, I can pick up this location. Which isn't really used for anything, but it is nice to have it. I mean, it's a good location just to have and be at. Maybe not. This could be it. Everyone's doing expeditions. Did I pick it up? All right, I picked up the location. If not, I can go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go. Going to do Grafton Day because you need three Toxic Valley events. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and also, like, so another thing to do, Ram, is do the workshop. Take, uh, uh, where are we? Take this, so take Hemlock Holes, and then do the, and then it'll give you a defend event, and do it that way. That'll, that'll help you. Uh, oh, how many more weeks left in the season? It's on the 26th. So we've got a little over two weeks, like two weeks in a day, is when the new season starts. All right, I guess events are just not going to happen. So, all right, too bad. I like this event, but let's see. Black Bear Lodge. Uh, I guess the closest spot is to go from here. So that's what we'll do. Nah, it won't, they won't hold it up. If that bar serves you, they serve other birds too. Okay. <laughs> I think Mr. Epos is still sleeping. He didn't stream last night and uh, yeah, I haven't seen a peep out of him. I tell you, daylight savings messed me up. Uh, I finally got the last couple weeks. I've been sleeping really well. I, it took me that long to get used to the previous daylight savings. And now it just time changes. And uh, last night was rough. It was hard to fall asleep, but I didn't want to get out of bed, which is unusual for me. All right. So, all right. We're keeping our weight pretty low. I don't know why I'm so worried about getting the, uh, the backpack mod. My weight is under 100. So I just want it. Feel good. It's pizza day. Oh, yeah, pizza day. Yeah, you don't want to sleep through pizza day. Although the nice thing about pizza day is if if you sleep through it, then you just have tomorrow and tomorrow could be pizza day. So I know he's rigid about that, but that's just weird. A true pizza lover would um, be able to have pizza day anytime or even twice. Like you could have pizza day twice. Like you could have double pizza day. How about that? Uh, where's the, there we go. Come on. There we go. You had an hour to finish dailies and change. Oh yes. Well, and the reset was weird. Like today, the reset, like the uh, like the reset happened at the new time, but the the script machines didn't reset until like a, an hour later. So they're they're off by an hour. Not super helpful. There's the cult. I don't see any cultists, which is good. Means I don't have to fight them. Let's see. Black Bear Lodge is up this way. There's sometimes there's stuff in here that wants to kill you. A honey beast. Um. You know what? Screw it. We're going to take out the big gun. One of these times is going to break on me, though. And I don't really want to blow... I only have, like, two repair kits. I don't want to blow them on uh, on this, so... Kill the bees. Kill everything. 
Anything else? All right, that went well. Perfect. Okay, Wick, welcome, welcome. Can you pause the stream for a bit? <laughs> no. No pause in the streams. Pizza month to clean your... There you go. Pizza month, I like it. I like pizza month. Probably it's not necessarily the healthiest month of all, but that's okay. It would definitely be the happiest month. So go up here and, uh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. The raiders should not be hostile, so I only have... Boom. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, now I'm something. Oh, there we go. Bats is being very picky. Someone showed up for SNS. All right. Uh, cool. I'm at a good spot where I can... Uh, let me go here, fix this thing, and yeah, I'll be ready for the next uh, the next thing. Hopefully I have circuitry, which I do. Perfect. Ah! All right, so we got people who showed up for the, oh, there's more than, there's like two people there. Perfect, awesome, awesome, awesome. Pancake MTH would be your choice. I don't know what MTH is, but I'm down for pancakes. I haven't had pancakes forever. I was actually craving them the other day, thinking, you know what? That's what I need is some pancakes. All right, let's take this out until it breaks. And then, uh... Yeah, I'm not doing a lot of damage. Where's the other one? There was two of them. Uh, the other one just spontaneously died? What's... Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. Didn't stagger me, so that's good. Um... Oh, it's in here. Bees. Perfect. Give me some stuff. Fix this up. Darn. Like the uh, it depends. It depends on what I prefer. Um, I always try and play in, like, no matter what style of play I'm doing, uh, you know, whatever weapon I'm using, because it depends on the weapon. But for the streams, I always try to play in third just because I think it looks better. It's more fun to watch when you can see the character. Um, for melee, I prefer third person. Uh, for rifles and, uh, like, commando weapons, that kind of, you know, commando or rifleman, I prefer, um, I prefer first person. For pistols, I go back and forth. I'll switch between third and first. So it just kind of depends. Uh, for heavy guns, generally I prefer third person. But if I'm indoors, then I'll go first person. And some weapons kind of bug out in third person, so yeah. So it just kind of depends. But I used to always play in first person, and then I started streaming. And I decided that third person was just more... It was a better viewing experience. And so I got used to it for certain play styles, and I actually ended after trying it, I actually preferred, like melee, I definitely prefer third person. So it's, uh, I think it's a lot more fun. Which is too bad, because Starfield third person melee sucks. It's uh, it's kind of wonky, and you miss a lot, of, a lot of hits. And I did a melee playthrough, and I ended up doing it first person mostly, just because, yeah, I didn't want to, but that was kind of the way it went. Um... Definitely not a lot of heavy hitters, which I like. Could actually get hits on things. The eyes, that's what you want. The eye, oh, okay. <laughs> the eyes is what you want. Maybe I get to level 95 today. That'd be something. Not sure how long we can hold them off. Bacon and maple syrup. Ah, okay. I'm not a bacon and syrup per. I mean, I like bacon and I like sweet stuff, but I don't want. I don't want to mix. Like I'm not a ba ma bacon maple donut person. Hey, a vamp Bowie knife with the swing speed. That's. Those are really good. I mean, the uh, the coldest dagger, not the coldest dagger, but the jawbone knife because it's vampire swing speed. That thing is awesome. Like you can main that all day long. You don't have to even use it as like a meme weapon or anything. You can main it. I was maining it for a while when this was a brand new event. Uh, that weapon was brand new. I was running that as my main weapon. I'm a main main that character quite a bit. Now I'm on to uh, like. Well, let's see. I was using the plasma cutter for a bit. The plasma cutter is so good. I love the plasma cutter. But uh, I really am liking the, uh, uh, what is it? The, the Warglaive. The Warglaive is a beast. That's, that's a really fun one, too. 
So that's kind of my current favorite melee weapon is the Warglaive. Had it for months, yeah. Yeah, if you put faster swing speed in melee, pretty much, or faster swing speed in vampire on a melee weapon, pretty much any of them are good as a main weapon. Even like the one-handed stuff, like tire irons or whatever. A decent build. I mean, vampire and swing speed. That's all you need. I'm doing great, apparently. That's what she said. I didn't mean that to be a that's what she said joke, but that's how it turned out. Vampire swing speed strength, nice. I think I have a, uh, I have a switchblade. One of those, somewhere. Vampire swing speed strength switchblade. Don't know if I've ever used it. It's been in a stash. I don't think it's on my melee character is the problem. I keep forgetting to move it. So it's never on a character that can use it. You love backup weapons. You don't require cards for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, currently I'm spec for two handed and I'm and I was still using the plasma cutter without perk cards. I was using that in eviction notice and it was doing fantastic. So, oh, they're back from their expedition. See, I told you they were pros. The pros finish quickly. I'm guessing they did most sensational game because that's the one the pros do. Most sensational game. Drill with anti. Oh yeah, drill. Drills are really good. I mean, all those auto spin up weapons. I mean, honestly, the chainsaw is probably my least favorite. Not because it's not strong, but because it's so damn glitchy. So. Oh, here we go. I got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna solo this guy. I got this, guys. Give me a little bit of time. Oh, that was there's my time. It's up. Buzzblade. Buzzblade's really good too. You get good effects on it and use it. Use it in bats. Honestly, with hack and slash, the buzzblade is awesome. I mean, that's that's the thing with those auto melee weapons. Use them in bats. I mean, even the Ripper. Like I like the Ripper. It's probably my favorite auto melee weapon. But uh, yeah, using them in bats is. Uh, I would say with critical hits, but I don't know that critical hits actually do anything. Uh, the damage numbers don't seem to move with critical hits. So I, critical hits may be broken for melee. I'm not sure though. Like most sensational game, but I've only gotten out of there at the end like two times without a freezing. Oh, yeah, it can be a buggy thing. I can't see anything. Come on. All right, there we go. Photon torpedoes on full. There we go. Or is Derek to appreciate my Star Trek reference? Ah, and I reloaded. Damn it. Oh well. Now I have a partially filled plasma core somewhere. The kabloom. I hate the kabloom. Every time I use it, I end up with like that's a weapon you need to have like really high poison resistance to use. And then the enemies, it doesn't do the poison doesn't do anything. So good job, everybody. Food buffs on melee. Oh, yeah. Food buffs on melee are amazing. Yeah, the trick with that is to go to the White Spring and just and buy them. And, and also have, um, oh, what's her name? The cook. Have her as your, because as your, uh, she sells the really good, like the tasty foods and stuff and the Death Club Wellington. I just, I don't even craft anything on my melee character. I have tons just from buying it. So, lateral move. Oh, the cryptid knife. Yeah, I love the cryptid job <clears throat> knife. That's such a good weapon. Plus, it looks really cool. Like, it's it's one of the coolest looking... Like I said, there's so many melee weapons that are really fun in this game. I think melee has the best variety. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't play that way because events are not really designed to be friendly to melee, but... Um, yeah, there's so many good melee weapons. If you haven't played melee, you should. I highly recommend it. Just running around the wasteland, just swinging at stuff is, is one of my favorite things to do in this game. And I always say wasteland, but it's not really wasteland, right? It's Appalachia, which is uh, Vampire's 10 mil pistol. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to say no to that. Uh, I must have just a ton of meat. My weight is really high. Really, really, really high. Okay, we've got a carrot, glowing meat, Jersey Devil card. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just save all the drugs. And if I get a junkies thing again, maybe next time I'll have uh I'll have enough to uh to get addicted if I need to. I should have been doing that all along. It didn't even occur to me. You know, I've been selling uh yeah, there's a lot of meat. I've been selling Alright, I think that's good. Did I get like a fusion core or something? Oh, I didn't uh I didn't store my uh Eh, didn't make much difference. Okay. But yeah, I think I'll just save all the drugs from now on. So that if I have junkies, I'll be ready for it. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't. 
Perf, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome, new member. Regretting herbivore on your main character? Uh, well, if your main character is melee, I, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I would do, uh, I mean, for me, I mean, that's the easiest. You could do you could do herbivore carnivore with with uh, ranged, but for for melee, I'm kind of, uh, I think carnivore is really the only way to go. You better watch Sometimes using a big hammer and smacking mutants with one hit is just, oh yeah. Well, and Vats Melee. I mean, I I have not been a big Vats Melee person before, but once you get Hack and Slash ranked up, I mean, I'm still only at rank three on it, Bunch but wow, that makes Melee so, I mean, it, it makes it so much fun when you go to, you Vats the thing, you swing at it, you kill it, and it explodes in the, like, I was sending uh, Super Mutant Bodies flying in Eviction Notice today, which is a lot of fun. I mean, it's fun when you're doing that just by hitting them, so... Can't you just craft the serums you want? Uh, wait. Uh. Oh, got you. Didn't snub you was in bed. That's <laughs> half awake. That's okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um. So I was looking for serums. Is that what's going on? Or let's see. Where am I? Oh, there we go. Was there a question in there? I, I, you only know three serums. Oh, okay. Well, that's a fun grind. Someone could, yeah, buy from the White Spring. Oh, they're so expensive to do that though. Like four, they're like four thousand caps. It's it's crazy how much they cost. Yeah, I mean, I could I could do that too. I mean, not now, obviously. I can't do anything, but at a later time, if you need, uh, if you need a serum, I can hook you up. My main character knows all of them. In fact, I think I have several characters that know all of the recipes. That's a grind. You know, going around and uh, back and forth just because of cap limits. Learning all of them. All right, so level oh, 95. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I've been able to actually find... Yeah, caps are much easier than flux. I've been finding... Uh, you know, because a few characters I've done when I've started from scratch, you know, ones I've done videos on where I've where I've done mutations. Every one of those I've done it by finding mutations and other from other players. It's not I haven't found it to be that difficult, and usually they're pretty cheap. I mean, it's not two fifty to three fifty is usually what I end up spending on a, a mutation. So, which is it? Which is a fine price. Let's see here. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go down here and uh, let's see. I'm gonna put a tent down. I know I can put it down close to here. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get halfway down the road and I'm going to get a quest to, to go to go back here. Might as well pick that one up. Sorry, my ear itchy. My ear itches. All right. Run down here, shoot a blood eagle, and then that's about the point where it wants you to turn around. Wait, uh, what do we have here? We've got uh, Company T's going. Um, usually, okay, usually there's, there we go. Boom, he's dead. And your little dog, too. Where's his dog? Joker cards, left the team. Well, it was nice playing with you, Joker cards. Where's the dog? Is the dog sleeping? Dog is sleeping forever. That was probably not a nice thing to say, and it wasn't a real dog, so... No actual dogs were being, were harmed. Oh, now we're going back here. I set up a fast travel spot, but it's really not that far away, so running back there is probably about the same amount of time as a loading screen, so we'll just run back. Might as well. The body is strangely fresh. That's my favorite line from this quest, is that it's, or date, yeah, from this daily quest. Strangely fresh, and it's basically just a rib cage. That's it. So I'm glad these guys don't run a restaurant because their idea of fresh is much different than my idea. Hello there. Forgot to go in here. Sometimes there's like weapons and stuff to pick up and scrap, although I probably know so many. That was one thing I didn't do either. I don't have a shotgun loadout. So that's something uh need to do. Uh, all right, we'll get this pipe gun, although I think I have all the pipe mods that I need. No, still no. I'm not getting a lot of drugs, like, like the drug drugs. Depending how Mr. Three feels tonight. Ah, who knows? Who knows with Mr. Three? He's kind of out in the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Rams here picking up a location, I'm guessing. 
or doing a quest or something other. Where are we at? Okay, we got a new event coming up in a minute. Hopefully it's one that people want to do. Hopefully it's one that I want to do. He's feeling okay. Hope he's feeling okay. <laughs> yeah, don't know. I mean, for, it's not a matter of him, like, people worrying about his health. It's not that. It's just that he's, he's just, he sleeps. That's what happens. He falls asleep during his, uh, all right, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go here first. Since I'm right here, I might as well do the, uh, oh, I did it wrong. Never mind. I did it wrong. I didn't pick up the bones. Yeah, I didn't pick up the bones. All right, I'm just going to go right to the event. <laughs> I did, I'm just, uh, these bot don't realize the apocalypse happened. That's true. Got to kill junky ghouls to get meds. Exactly. Yeah, this is a good way to get chems. Ghouls. This is Dane Rogers with I just have to be on a team with people who kill stuff. Or get tags on stuff. Critical hit to the head. All right. Make a ruckus. We repair the jukebox. Normally I make a ruckus, but I'm trying to get drugs. Since Jules isn't on my team, I got to have a teammate tagging stuff. Uh, okay, he's gonna play an instrument. All right, I'll shoot stuff. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll shoot stuff. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't go that well. Oh, there's Jules. All right, I'm just gonna play and I'll let Jules kill stuff. That'll be easier. That'll be easier. Hey, Pete, welcome, welcome. It is going well so far. I mean, we start off terrible with our weapons, but I have managed. I've managed this far with the weak stuff that I got. Lots of stuff at Pleasant Valley. Yeah, that's true with all the raiders and stuff. That's true. I mean, at this point, it's kind of, I'm not worried about it. I made it this far with my non-legendary weapon. We'll keep it going. I need drugs. Yes. Get in the pro team. Yes. Wait, this isn't much of a view. What am I doing here? I got to go with my, uh... <laughs> I got to go with my, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay, that may be too fast. There we go, that's better. Not much to see, though. Not really a lot of people. That person's looking at, he's checking the tie. He's got green hair. Is green hair a thing? I guess that's a color you can choose. I never even think that. I don't tend to, yeah, I don't do that level of customization. So hopefully I pick up a bunch of drugs here, but yeah, I'm not going to use them now. But if I get another junkie's weapon next time or another time, then uh, yeah, I thought, oh, it's not gonna, it's gonna be too easy. I I uh, got these loadouts, I'm good to go, and of course, then I get a gun that doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't want to cooperate at all. There we go, tag friendly skulls. What outfit is that with the skulls? I'm pretty sure I've seen that before, but. Uh, yeah, it's very raidery, or I don't know, or more like he's he's a hun, cannibal, human skulls all over your outfit. I don't know. Yeah, playing an instrument isn't the uh, uh, oh the blood eagle oh from the Adams Adam shop. Okay. Problem with being in the camera is I don't know the progress bar, so I don't know where we where we're at. Uh, ghouls keep infecting you. Uh oh, are you getting diseases? Is that what's happening? There we go. Power armor's here with a railway rifle. That's kind of overkill, right? It's like I need a railway rifle and power armor. I mean, isn't just obliterating obliterating everything enough of a enough? Like you don't really need to be indestructible too. Giving you the cooties. Uh oh. XP hog. Well, an XP hog would be using a nuke launcher. But yeah, I don't know. I was wondering about that. It's like, I'm going to use a railway rifle and power armor. It's like, well, you already insta-kill everything. What? I mean, 
Why do you need power armor for that? I guess uh, that's it. That's that's just my question. It's probably unyielding power armor. There we go. All right, I got my tag in, and he's diseased. Is there a? Uh, oh, there's a bobblehead. Is this one I want to use? Oh, leader. Yes, please. I'm gonna use this leader bobblehead. Uh, let's see. Under aid. Bonus XP. Speaking of railway. Just got a quad explosive railway. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. People like that, from what I hear. That's a thing. No weapons. No one reads. No one reads what? Never seen a machete that agrees with you? Um, I don't know if I've ever gotten a good machete either. I'm not positive. It's one of those things, like, I've never gotten a good, like, a, well, I shouldn't say I've never gotten a good pole hook. I've never gotten the pole hook that I'm looking for, the vampire swing speed pole hook. I don't see a lot of, I mean, that's one of those weapons I just don't see a lot of. Real blast. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, wait, no, let's go back to my tent. What am I doing? I'm going to go to my tent, and I'm actually going to do this stupid quest that I was doing. There we go. Oh, no weapons to kill. Yeah, I don't think that nobody reads. I just think nobody cares, because everybody has to agree to it, because if a single person shoots, that's it, so... Something you got to do on a private server, probably, to be able to do that. I don't think I've ever gotten that one. I'm getting lots of uh, lots of stuff to scrap for mods, though. Well, I've gotten, I think I've gotten good war drums. The problem, well, I shouldn't say good war drums. I've gotten war drums with good effects. I'm of the opinion that there's no such thing as a good war drum. I think they're just kind of awful. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is at the end of its, yeah. Whatever I use this next will be the last time, probably. All right, let's go up here and actually get the freshly uh, the freshly squeezed body. <clears throat> Don't usually come at it from this angle. So, uh, let's see. Where is it? Oh, probably up here, right? Up and yeah, here we go. Here we go. One shot at the rad roach. I am truly powerful. I didn't even notice, like, what drugs I may have. Um, uh, I didn't really get, oh, psycho. I didn't really get that much stuff. So I didn't get a ton of things. Yeah, that's okay. But it's all going to go in my stash box for next time. All right, we'll go, oh, I didn't make it back there. All right, never mind. We'll, we'll run down. <clears throat> run down the way. Railway is great for power armor. You're not stealthing, so you might as well bring some firepower. All right, that makes sense. All right, I'm convinced. Bought a bloodied swing speed one strength machete from a player vendor a few days ago. Ooh, that should kill stuff for sure. War drum, slow and heavy. Yes. Resemble that remark. <laughs> War drum or heavy or slow and heavy. My drink is almost gone. Let's see, I killed the thing right here. There's nothing, there's no... Oh, look at that, the dog is already... Someone came through and butchered the dog and everything and left the meat. Because that's how that's how it works. Okay, so we're going to go on by this guy. I don't really feel like fighting him. <clears throat> if he's alive. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Well, what's this? Oh, it's a ghoul. It's a, there we go. I was thinking maybe it was the tour the uh the, yeah, the tourist person. Which I haven't seen yet either. I forget about that. Whoa, wait. Speaking of, hey, there we go. Alright, I guess I'll pick up the uh Bureau of Tourism person. Or not the Bureau of Tourism person, but the uh the bucket list person. I think there's another ghoul right there. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we'll loot this person. That'll give us a quest. How about that? I think so the, the first time I've gotten it without having to uh uh, let's do this, do this, do this. All right. New holotape. Where's that holotape? Uh, oh, I'm behind on learning my plans by a lot. Uh, tumblers today. Sure, we'll learn that. Oh, geez, so many plans. Um, just trying to find the holotape so I can stop it. I probably should have gone. There we go. Should have gone elsewhere. Okay, I don't want this shovel, so let's drop this shovel for whoever comes next. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. 
Hey, Glitter, welcome, welcome. You hate when there's no shovel? Yeah, well, there's shovels, right? So, yeah, there's a shovel right here is a spawn point, but there's also one inside behind the counter, and I think there's one on the counter as well. So I think there are three, yeah, three shovels sounds right. All right. So we did that, and, uh... Yeah, if someone takes them all, well, they took them all. Someone's following me. I feel like I'm being followed. Uh, let's go to, let's, let's, uh, let's see. I need a, uh, Tinker's Bench. We'll put the camera together. Why not? I like the, bu bu the bucket list quest. So when I have new weapons, that's when I'll do the next, uh, the next stage. So next time I'll do the next stage of the Wastelanders and then I'll start on the, the Raider stuff too. Or maybe, fit yeah, zombie following me. Yes. Oh, there's two outside? Oh, okay. Ram, welcome. Did you get kicked again? Does it is it the same thing? People keep getting kicked. Everything's fine. Everything's working perfectly fine. No problem here. Oh, I should, probably should have. Yeah, that's fine. Probably should have saved. Probably should have, could have, would have. Um, pick up a bunch of ammo? No. Why is the, like, the weight just kind of... I just learned all of these plans, which should remove weight. Um, oh, alcohol, too. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, let's put some stuff away. Hey, drinks. Welcome, welcome. That's what I'll do. Put away... Uh, let's see here. Oh, collar lager. Was there... Oh, let's see. Purified water. Will engage, join the team. Welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put all of these... Uh, Medex, Mintats, put away all the Psycho, and I will just save those for, there we go, that's better. All right, let's craft a camera. Probably a bug. Oh, got kicked when I fast traveled? All right, that sounds about right. Quest items, uh, camera. There we go. All right, let's go take some pictures. I don't think I have anything close to any of those. I have this. Sons of Dane, I think that's where we are going to start. Go to the pumpkin house and uh, sneak around because we are not equipped to deal with any kind of enemies at all. Yeah, next time if I get something crappy like a Gatling Plasma, I'm just going to auto just go to melee on the second one. I don't want to risk because I can make any melee work. But I mean, if my second weapon would have been an Assaultron head... You know, that would have really been really bad choices for me today to use. No, you get film as part of the, uh, when you craft the camera to start off, you actually get film. See, so you get that much film, camera, 20 film. Which is enough to complete the quest. <clears throat> but if I were to do more, then yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, are we at the spot where the stuff... Uh, I think I, I found an Agua here once. I was walking along. Or maybe it was Agua plus Scorched. And if I go too far that way, then I get the... Uh, depending on what I get here, it could be... I don't know. Maybe not. Um, Nothing? There's no... Isn't there usually stuff around here? Okay, there's something around. I don't know what. Oh, an ant. Ugh. Even a critical hit to the head is not enough to kill an ant. So now we got a uh, blood bug. If this was Fallout 4 survival, that vampiric blood blood bug would be enough to one tap me. Um. All right. It seems. Uh oh. Oh, and a blowfly. Oh, it's like a a little insect menagerie we got going on here. All right. Got one of everything. Nice. Not doing possum. This time, probably not. Because I did it on the last, right? I did it on the last one. So I don't think I'll do it again this time. I don't know what I, I mean. The only thing I know for sure is I'm going to do the vault raid. So I'm going to do the vault raid. And at that point, once I do the vault raid, then I just kind of assess, okay, am I liking this? Can I keep doing this character? And so far, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I, I think this is a, this has actually been more fun than, I, I didn't know how, I mean, I honestly didn't know how it would go. But it's been a lot of fun, so... I don't have any intentions to quit. I'll probably run this until the next season starts and then do and then do a different a different thing. But we'll see. But probably not, but yeah, I don't plan to do the possum this time. I don't I don't do that one very often because it is kind of a, a thing. 
Um, let's see, what am I doing? Oh, let's see, camera. And we've got Pumpkin House. I guess I could uh, actually activate this quest. How about that? <laughs> I don't really need to. I know where stuff is, but uh, might as well do this daily. I'm back to help you again. I like how it says again. I've never been here before, but I'm back to help you again. Psycho. See, sometimes there's drugs in there. Let's see if we can get a pie. Pumpkin pie is good food. I think you can... Nope, no pumpkin pie food, but a pumpkin pie recipe. This is always a... If it's here, this is always a pumpkin pie recipe. So don't buy that recipe. Get it for free. Ever upwards. Yes. I want more. I want like a... Oh. There's that. Does that fit with the... Uh... All right. What do we think? <laughs> This is what happens when things go wrong. You're a spirit from the... I'm like Ghost Rider now. That'll scare him away. Frozen. Drug... Oh, drugs upstairs? There's a there's a vault dweller upstairs, too. So many to there's usually a bug or something up here, right? Nope. Oh, there's a vault dweller. Cap and... Uh, uh, let's see. We'll take that. Oh, we'll take, uh, we'll drink this. Um, there's a stim pack. Yeah, I'm not seeing a, there's another stim pack. Not really, oh, and a witch hat. Too bad I can't wear the witch hat with the skeleton, the skeleton head. What's this? A dirty tan suit. No, we're not doing outfits because we have to see their armor. The armor has to be visible at all times. Okay, let's grab a, uh, grab the pumpkins. It's just easy XP. And I don't have green thumbs, so I have to get all 10. But there are 10 plants here, so that works out. Come on. Works out perfectly. There's here, and another two plants right here. What do we have? Drugs, unrefined gum. Oh, there's going to be drugs over there on the table, I think. There's usually a random, so a random thing. You there. Empty mirror, exactly. Jules is PvP. He feels like killing people, I guess. Cross the road. Well, there's drugs usually right here and right here. Fury. Okay. I don't know if you want a Fury addiction, but uh, some of those kind of overlap. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a, a, uh, whatever. A gnome, a garden gnome. I'm not that worried about it. I'm just going to save all the drugs I get from now on because I know I've been selling them and it's like I should save them just in case I get junkies. Uh, because I can always cure them with a dick doll, so I can cure them the next the next time around. So, totally, wow. Is somebody here? <laughs> no? Is stuff just spontaneous blowing up? Like, is there, there's no other player here? There's got to be another player here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, camera. Perfect. I got it. Yep. All right. See, to me, it seems like it should pick up the location as soon as you, uh, does it have like a quest? Claim the workshop? Can I just go claim it? Does that mean there's nothing here? Oh, what's that? What's this? Investigate. Oh, that's for the other thing. Does someone, uh, it's unowned. All right. I'll take the workshop. Why not? It's free, uh, whatever. Free XP, free plans. There we go. Picked up the thing. Open up this. Nope, no Nuka. Wonder how the gnome teddy bear war is going. I, good question. What's, what's that? There's 30 in the area. 30 what? 30 gnomes or 30 drugs? Free real estate. Exactly. All right. So claim a workshop. Actually, let's uh, do this. Uh, let's just lighten our load. Perfect. All right. Do all this stuff. Do that. That and <clears throat> on down the road. Perfect. Oh, 30 pumpkins. Yes. I just always use those because, and there's some actually south, like as you're coming up on the pump, as the, yeah, south of the pumpkin house. But all the ones you need are right there. So I just use those because they're close. So, <clears throat> Yeah, there's a ton. There are a ton of pumpkins in the around the area. 
And of course, if you have green thumb, which I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, I don't have green thumb. But if you have green thumb, then uh, you can get even more. All right, I'm going to try and do this stealthily. I don't really want to fight all this nonsense. Uh, uranium fever, eh. Uranium fever doesn't excite me a whole lot. So I'm going to try and do this. Uh... Oh, perfect. But I need to try and pick up the location. Oh, everything's dead. All right, well, everything's already dead because I'm going to need this for the vault raid, for the eventual vault raid. It'll be easier to pick it up now than uh, later. There we go. All right. All right, the next stop is quite a ways away. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, I've picked up nothing in this part of the world, so... We're just going to go for a little jaunt and hope we don't encounter stuff. That's really what it boils down to. Let's hope we don't encounter anything. Now, sometimes there's stuff down there. I don't see anything. Although, there have been times when I've come down here and gotten flanked, where I turned around and there was, like, my alert kings following me, so... Maybe because of uh, my scary appearance, there are... Oh, Brotherhood people. All right. See, there you go. Easy daily, exactly. I bought photo. Spawn on road? What? What about the I bought photo? I don't need an I bought... Is, there, is, that a, uh, is that a daily or something? Is that what's going on? I didn't look at the... Uh, Oh, I take a picture of a stingwing. I, I don't know what we mean by I bought by, by I bought photo. Ooh, weird lighting. All right, let's check our food. Make sure, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Company T. It's almost expired, and we'll do some canned dog food and canned meat stew, and that'll keep us going. All right, we'll just make a beeline for the uh, the thing. Probably shouldn't run through the mire. There's nasty stuff in the mire. Is that a location? That's uh, oh, a location, but there's a player there. Defend Red Rocket Mega Stop. I'm going to pass. What is this location? Oh, this is the... Uh, for the daily quest. I don't know why I'm picking this up. I'm never going to do it. Uh, let's see. Upload data. There we go. I think that'll give me a thing. Okay. Daily uh, event. Queen of the Hunt. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Thinking about. Oh, yesterday's challenge. Okay, I didn't even look. I did not look at the challenges yesterday, and today that's... I just haven't been looking. I got to level 100 and just said, whatever. I'm good. Remove the grind. Oh, the grind does give you a reason to play, but... I'm sure I've missed out on millions of perk... I saw how far gas is at, like, level 240-something. I mean... I'm on level 138 here, so I'm way far behind. I think I'm farther than that on my other account, but not by a lot. My favorite part of the map. Um, what is my favorite part of the map? I mean, I, I actually really like the forest, but pr I don't know. I like the Toxic Valley. Just something about it. I think part of the reason I like the Toxic Valley is that... Uh, Okay, I need to... What do I need to do? I think part of the reason I like the Toxic Valley is that... Uh, can I go around this? I think I can. Is that you can go there day or night and it's easy to see stuff. You know, the mire is kind of rough at night. Uh, let's see here. I, I actually like the... I like the Cranberry Bog too, though. I don't know. <laughs> I like lots of things. I almost said Black Reach, but that's a wrong game. That's my favorite. That's my favorite part of the map in uh, in Skyrim. That's something I know. Company T in your camp. Oh, there's some in mine too. I just haven't taken out of the extractor because I don't have good with salt, so I'm just making do. Thank you though. The mire has the best god rays. Oh, I I like the mire during the day. I don't like it at night at all because you can't see a thing. So this is what I want right here. Coming up on it. Gotta be careful of, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see. What, how do I want to do this next? Actually, we'll just do this. This will be, nope, wrong weapon. This will be the kind of the last gasp for our, uh, our Gatling plasma. 
All right, let's do some critical hits. <laughs> that actually worked. Hell yeah, there you go. Critical hits for the two seconds where I had my... Uh, before my AP didn't run out. There we go. Let's run up. Uh, do we pick this up? No. All right, so there's a camera. There's a weapon. This is going to sit here. The server's really slow, giving me games. Character four is level 64, doing challenges help with... Yeah, I always give the perk card packs to whatever the main character is on that account. Except to my main character, I've stopped giving them perk card packs from the scoreboard. Jeez, give me this location already. Oh, I've got it already. Never mind. I stopped giving perk card packs to my main character because I, I'm like, I don't know what to do with the... Uh, with, with them at this point. I have plenty. So I've started feeding them to other characters. But on this account, I, I give them all to the main character. At some point I won't, but I like to have, like if I ever want to do a video like on a per, on a, like a, a legendary perk or whatever, it's nice to actually be able to take a perk if you need to, to have perk cards to, I guess, burn, if you will. All right, so now we need to go down. I should have gone here earlier when there was the... Uh, Oh, I have this stuff too. Um, let's do the burrows. Let's just go there. We'll do there and then go over to the Galleria. Since I need, I'll need the Galleria next next stream. So, that was a fun. That was Rambo was a fun one. That was one people liked. Okay, so we want to go down. Yeah, let's go around. Round the outside. After a while, levels add up with nothing to use them. Yeah. Well, and it's like, it, you know, if I wish we could level up, I wish we could like swap legendary perks in and out without spending. Cause then I would, then I would go, okay, I'll just rank up this card and then, and then swap it out again. But since you have to burn a perk card to do that, I just, but that is something to know. There is a max. So if you hit, uh, is it 5,000? I think once you hit 5,000 perk coins, you can't earn anymore. So you definitely want to spend them before you get to that point. I mean, I'm not in, I mean, I'm not in danger of that, but I know there are people. Today is not your day. Powering up Mananga is broken with it saying stuff needs repairing, but indicated nodes are also already repaired. Oh, that's frustrating. I have only done, I have done that event a handful of times, like probably less than a handful. If you got something, oh, Fox. If you got something good for I me, mean, what do you get? You get like, like uh, plans, like uh, camp plans and stuff. Remember when the game cheated and killed me right here because it gave, it spawned in like cultists or something? I remember that. Good times. Um, Yeah, what do you get for that? Is there, can you get like rare stuff from that? That's kind of what I'm wondering. The fusion generator. Yeah. I mean, that's so cheap though. I mean, it's like, yeah, I could spend a half hour doing this power up event or I could just go spend, you know, a hundred and some odd caps or 200 caps. Rather do that. Part of getting like, oh yeah, for the badge. Okay, gotcha. If you're doing a badge, that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense if you want to do it. Like, that's the thing. Just because I, I don't think it's fun doesn't mean other people don't. It's okay to do whatever you want to do. One-shotting Scorched. It's always satisfying. This is, I got to say, when this weapon one-shot stuff, like, it sounds really good. Defeat the Super Mutants. I think I'm going to let them have it. Uh, not so much. All right. Nope. There we go. That's a lot less satisfying when uh, shots just miss over and over again. Hunting rifle. Uh, let's see here. We will go into first person. Go just inside. Take a picture. Everyone left me again. Or someone joined me. I think people just keep getting kicked or what? That's a spawn location. The red rocket? Yes. That is a spawn location for um, lots of things. I've seen all kinds of things. there. That's a random encounter spot. And during the uh, aliens event, that's a good <clears throat> that's a good place to go to find aliens. All right, so I've got one more location to get, and then I'll have my badge. XP. Do you get a lot of XP from that? Not really. It kicks when I fast travel. That's uh, <laughs> that's funny. There's only room in the car for one. I think that's what it is. When I fast travel, I'm on a unicycle, and there's just no room for other people. Uh, all right, so what uh, what do I have that's close to that? I don't have anything. Let's go to Sunday Brother. Oh, that's not that far. Sunday Brother's Cabin. It's a quick jog up the road. Seen several 
Scorch Beast drop in through the roof of the Valley Gallery. I have too. Not recently though. It's been a long time. I remember the first time I, I saw that where it would fly. It would fly through. It just like flies in a circle. Like it flies, disappears, and flies like it's on some sort of, uh, you know, conveyor belt or something. Uh, why is, oh, I'm like, why is it giving me two quest markers? Because one of them is for an event I don't want to do. All right, so we go, oh, is this a tent? Do I have things to scrap? Hunting rifle, all right. These scrap boxes are super handy, I gotta tell you. Happens pretty often when you have to defend the workshop. Ah, okay. So if you have to defend, oh! Ah, no. Oh, I hate the Mothman, they're so annoying. I'm just gonna go up the thing. Maybe I'll get out of range, maybe I won't, but they always startle me. But I do have my, uh, I'll use up my Gatling Plasma if I have to. But I knew they do have a limit. Their roam range does have a limit. So if you so if you have that other, uh, what is it? This, uh, the workshop right here. So if you have that one, is that what it is? And you have to defend it. Uh, that's a possibility of a cut. That would make sense, actually. Because I've actually gone to that event before, the defend event, and nothing showed up because everything was, they spawned outside the area. This isn't what I want. I hear a dog barking. Made fresh rye bread. Ooh, that sounds good. Are you missing that you've made over 75 covert scout armor right legs and not one of them was unyielding? Ooh. Sounds about right. Sounds like uh, sounds like you're channeling me. Don't don't be like me. And there we go. Oh, and the bucket list quest is done. How about that? How about that? Ah, that is scary business right there. That is scary business, but that was perfect. Uh, full set of cover Scout today and got about six of them as unyielding. I got a lot of unyielding and bolstering when I was rolling solar armor, which to me shouldn't even be possible, but that's that's how it goes. But all right, so we got a lot done today with really crappy, uh, crappy weapons. So uh, yeah, uh, but this is gonna be the end of today. I will be back on Friday. It sounds like Ram may be streaming later. I don't know. Either him or Mr. Three or somebody. I don't know. But I'll be back on Friday. So, and we'll be back with the same character. New gear, hopefully better weapons than this time because this this wasn't that great. <laughs> so, this is a lot of fun. So, thank you, everyone. Thanks again to Perf for becoming a member. And uh, for uh, Jerbear for gifting a membership. So, everyone have a good day, good rest of the week. And I will catch you next time.